Now then, ladies and gents, welcome to the Have A Word podcast. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Before we start, I'd like to tell you about my new stand-up special. Dan Nightingale's special is on the Have A Word YouTube page. Go and watch it now. Like, subscribe, share it, tell a friend, enjoy. I think it's some of the best stand-up I've ever done. I hope you like it. I do not have a new special yet because I am still on tour and we kick off again this week going all over the country. There's 33 dates, including some big ones that we're going back to for the second time, like Leeds and places we haven't been yet, like Blackpool and Cardiff. We've still got three dates in Liverpool to do. I'm going all over the place, adamrow.co.uk, forward slash tour, all the dates are there, 33 still to come. They're starting to sell out and I'm dead excited to get back on the road because I've been bored. For a month since the last one. It's an incredible show. Go and see it. Thank I'm going to do much. some comparing this year. 2024 is me going to be hosting and comparing. Come and see me doing Dan Nightingale and Fiends and also the Comedians Club Chester. All of these dates, there's about 40 of them through 2024, are available at dannightingale.com. Patreon.com slash have a word pod. You, if you're not a patron already, you've got to go and sign up. Three quid a month as a, a starter. You can go to five or ten. The more you pay, the more you get. But even if you start at just three quid a month, you get every extra bit of content we do. You get early access to these episodes. You get an extra episode every single week. And you get a patron exclusive bonus special every single month, including everything we've ever done in the past, access to the entire back catalog. Catalog? Which includes. <laughs> Oh, we've got lock-ins, we've got ghost hunts, we've got a restaurant special, we've been to Nashville, we've had a race day. I'm trying to remember some of the more random ones. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Um, <clears throat> it, it's, it's, the best, it's the best stuff we ever create. It's also on location and it never gets better than it. Patreon.com slash have a word pod. We're one of the biggest on the planet and the biggest in the UK for, for a very a reason. simple reason. We're the best at this. So go and check out what you haven't checked out yet. And if you're already there, you know just how good it is. Enjoy the episode. We've just finished recording it. It's a belter. Wag Wag Leeds, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game. From the heart of Liverpool, with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kyle, and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best product on the market for below the waist grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. Hey, it's a hungover rowy episode. I think I might have to quit drinking. Oh, no, please don't. It's just like, I've woke up again today and my left eye doesn't really work. And if I was going on like, if I went on a seesaw and it's made my eye start not working, I'd never go on a seesaw again. Wow. What? You know what I mean? Beautiful. Yeah, but does the yeah. seesaw give you such joy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. As, as Joey is getting bladdered, a seesaw. Jack, Keelan, we're going down the seesaw. <laughs> yeah, see you there. Six till fucking three. Um, I did, uh, I just, I had such a lovely morning and afternoon yesterday. And then I was like, do you know what? I fancy a pint. Yes, mate. I wanted a bevy last night. Why didn't you come? Because mm. I had a meeting with a weapon plan and then went to gym. Oh, so stupid. Yeah, it? much worse. Yeah. Because I realised I can't have a weapon. And I'm looking after my two-year-old on my own, but he was already bladdered. <laughs> I couldn't have brought him. I was like, Jack, do you want it in shit his pants? And that was not just because of his age. I of just wanted four Guinness. I didn't want it, you well, know. How many did you have? Well, we had five and then went and played beer pong. Um, wow. And then uh, then went and had three more. And then apparently, I don't remember the rest of it. I don't remember leaving Lanigans. But apparently we had... I like Lanigans, you know. I the like Guinness it. in it is great. Oh, it's yeah. a good boozer. Um, we ate. <laughs> and then apparently we ordered 76 pounds worth of nabsies. And then went back to Pogues. And then went home and had a sing and a dance. Did you take the Nabsies to uh. Pogues? No. You had to in Nabsies. Yeah, and then went back to Pogues for one. But I don't remember any of that. Do you know the other week when you said you hate it when I and when I better myself? I really don't. If you were dead fit and happy and healthy yeah. and you came in here in a silly full mood, I'd love it. I'd be like, mate, do a, do a triathlon or something else that I don't understand. <laughs> But it's when you do 76 pounds of nabsies, that's when you're at your best. Now, <laughs> now that's selfish, because longevity-wise, health-wise, maybe not great. But I love it when you come in with this sort of, like, fucking... I woke up this morning, energy. and I'm com I was convinced for a good five minutes that I, would like, fell on my head last night. Like, I feel so awful. Oh. I can smell the ale. From there? Yeah. Great. I I I can't no, but you're asking the wrong person to smell things. I um have you fucked your smell up? Yeah, a little bit. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, a little bit. Daniela Westbrook. 
No, oh, nice. I mean, it's, it's just her name. It's just her name. <laughs> I, know, I, just, I just said it's slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a little bit. Not, not horrifically. I think, you know, it smells like fun to me. Yeah? Yeah. It, what, What's Nabsies, by the way? Ch the Chinese? Chicken. Oh, Nabsies chicken. Mm -hmm. Nabsies Famous in the city. Like Chinese, was it? Can you tell me where I can get, uh, what was that bag we got in Dublin? Spice bag. Oh, yeah. Don't do it in the UK, I don't think. What? I mean, it's just salt and pepper chicken and chips. I, but, but how do it they stop well it? well low on it. No, but how do they stop it getting all sweaty? It's like a, it's like an Irish miracle. It's chips and salt and pepper chicken. I've seen that before. I've had it. But how is it in a bag for so long and it comes out weirdly like Crispy. not sweaty? Yes. Crisp bags. I'll have that on my birthday. Have you ever had a bag of crisp? What? <laughs> have you ever had a bag of crisps? Oh, I thought you said bag of crisp. Just one fucking Same, crisp. I, we do say that. I don't they, know if it's... They yeah, do say I, that. I wouldn't you say bag of crisps because I'm not a fucking lunatic. No, of course. <laughs> I brufen. No, we. I've got a headache. Can I have the I brufen? No, brufen. I brufen. Right. I'd say give us a bag of crisps. There, I wouldn't yeah. say can I have, have a, a pack of, of crisps? crisps. Mad in it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I know it's you like do fish. You do loads of. Can no, I have a bag of that, fish. Damn, this is much more common than you think. This is an epidemic of people saying crisp instead of crisps. A bag of crisp. Yeah, yeah. it drives me mad. Does it? Yeah, because it's just. I don't know how it doesn't drive you mad. No, it like drives me mad when people incorrect. say it the way you say it. Crisps. crisps. <laughs> Sound like a sneak. But that's literally just the word. <laughs> no. no. It's something a crisp. Hello, mate. Can that's I have... one. What about no. No, it's like fish. Yeah. No, it's, it's literally not. It is. Can I have some fishes and chipses, please? <laughs> you big fucking snake. <laughs> that's what they'd say. Some fish eye on some chip eye. Yeah, get some crisp there, lad. If I say crisps, it go now. But it is a little bit out of... I mean, he's a fucking rogue, but you... It is a bit out of character because you can get a little bit word noncy, nope. but your scouse almost overpowers your pedant. Is that right? 100%. Omen yeah, yeah. bargain. I mean, that that is, yeah. That was fun to learn about. Yeah. I can see that though, though, because like it's 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 what you remember. Bag of crisp is just wrong. It's not. You're wrong. How do you say two pints? Like two the, pints. the name of the show. Two pints. Two pints lager and a packet of crisp. Is that not genuinely? Here's the. <coughs> is it crisps? <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? No, very, I don't. I, I genuinely very, think. Can I just was, say very well played, thank Finn. You. No, but very well played. Uh, we, Hit them in the fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say two pints. I wouldn't say two pints lager pack of crisp, and I wouldn't say crisps. I'd two say pint, two, two pint lager, bag of crisp. Is it? Yeah, it, it spells. <laughs> the way you say it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a, a silent s. It is. Yeah. Ah, it's a silent s. Crip, crip. <laughs> Wow, that'd be a different fucking sitcom, wouldn't it? <laughs> Pack it, two a crips, a lager, and a crip. <laughs> When's the bloods coming? Um, yeah, we have a dialect. That's fine. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. Leave it alone. No, I'm. Mean, it's a bit, a bit of fun, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a Wales, bit mad in places. Like turkey ham. What is turkey ham? What's turkey Wales? Huh? Turkey ham, the meat. No one knows what it is, do they? No. No I'm one so knows what that. that. What is it? Turkey ham. Mm. I have no idea. But exactly. It tastes good. It also, I, I is it mushed up meat? To see about pigs. I had this argument last night with Seneca. Different team pork and ham. Yeah. Huh? So, like, if you cut any bit of a cow off, beef in it. What? <laughs> what makes it steak? <clears throat> so I'm ham, not to be thick. Ham and what bacon. What you do with from... it makes it steak. Is that right? No. What? It's all steak. Any part of a cow is steak if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ham and pork. <laughs> How do you want this dick? <laughs> Ham is the hind Medium. leg. Ham comes from the hind leg. Why is that pink? I don't know. Got dirty the rest bum. it's white. Oh, is it, oh, it's different parts of the... Yeah, pork is from the main... But, and the um, ham is from the hind legs only. Is mm. bacon like round the arsehole or something? I think bacon's in the ham world, isn't it, rather than yeah. the pork world. Is it? Yeah. What's uh, <clears throat> gammon? See, I'd gammon say pork, ham. but it's ham, isn't it? Is it? It's just thick bacon, isn't it? Right. But then a pork chop. You know that bacon we're... sandwich you brought in the other day looked like gammon on toast. It was, and it was unbelievable. Bring a bacon sandwich in, sugar pit bacon. It was, a, it was literally. Uh, oh, yeah, I suppose it was sugar pit bacon, but like that's not bacon though. It's not bacon. It's gammon. <laughs> All right, you came in here and went. I've got some sugar pit bacon in bread. I didn't bring a bacon sandwich in. You fucking mad, Dan? You don't know food. Yeah, I said bacon. Yeah, it was more of a ham butter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's the word bacon that put me off on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. There you go. So ham is the arse. 
Hock is the back leg, just the left one, apparently. Oh, no one's having a hock toasty, are they? Come Picnic on. Picnic ham, front leg. The Boston butt is it's the shoulder. Um, back fat loin, spare ribs, you know where they are. Neck, ear, head, jowl, and snout. By the way, I found out... Head, shoulders, knees, knees and snout. snout. Yeah. Um, by the way, I found out the other day, um, I can't say where specifically I live, obviously, because it's my address. This blizzard yellow sauce. But in my building, really good. there's a man and he's got a name and I need you to know it. Ooh. Let me find it. Dan, right. is that lemon flavoured? It's really zesty. Yeah. I find it very refreshing. Look who lives <laughs> in my building. <laughs> Dr. Butt. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Butt. <laughs> it's like a Simpsons film. Uh, I know a lady and her second name is Butt. First name, Tanya. And Tanya Butt. Uh, it's, it's like I, <clears throat> yeah. I know a woman whose surname is Arsol and his first na- her first name is Come in my. What? Yeah, she's foreign. Where's she from? Germany. <laughs> Come in my asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my first wife. Or whenever she's not. <laughs> Cunt is a surname in Turkish. Yeah. With a K. Cunts is a surname yeah. in. Cunts. Cunts. Yeah, so I know a fatty cunt. So do I. You know a fatty cunt? Mm. Yeah, and we also we name. know that he knows a fatty cunt because he's already told us. Hang on, about fatty cunt. Yeah, yeah. First name fatty. Yeah, that's a that's a name in Turkey. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, but they went put them together. They didn't go. Do you know what? Let's stay. We don't speak English language. Yeah, but they know what fat cunt means. They no, don't. they don't. So if I went up to a Turkish person and fat cunt, they go. Ha, ha, ha. Nah, <laughs> I don't know where <laughs> she is. I am not her. Nah. Bollocks. They know what fat cunt is. That's international. That's universal. <laughs> you call someone a fat cunt, they know. <laughs> That's wild. Someone should have told them by now then. Uh, they might have. Wild. Poor kid. Fat mm. cunt in school. How do Brazilians choose their name? <laughs> you know, like, for all the footballers have got, like, cool as fuck names. I think question. they literally Are they just, just literally just going, do you know what? I just want to be... I like Ronaldo. I'll be Ronaldinho. No, because yeah. it's, it's all like Arthur and fucking, like, Jeff. Yeah, but that was the new wave, wasn't it? Back in the day, it was like Danielson, Rivaldo. Aren't they Ronaldinho not their real not names? Christian Ronaldinho, no, he's he? Re- I know. He's Ronaldo de Assis Moreira. Yes. Can Ronaldinho. we get whip ups? Can, can you find out Rivaldo's on, Rivaldo. full name? Rivaldo's name is Rivaldo. Yeah, that is Rivaldo. Rivaldo Vita Borba Ferreira. Danielson. Rivaldo Vita Vora do you know Ferreira. Why, do you know why Kaka's called Kaka? Because his nephew couldn't say his name. When he, oh no, someone couldn't say his name in his family when he was a kid. They call him Kaka instead of Ricardo. So he's took Kaka as his name. Oh, I like that. I Danielson's think it's a bit shit that Danielson. they let them do that, though. Do you know what I mean? Take the Brazilians come to Europe and they're like, oh, I'm Kaka. Why are oh, my little nephew can't say my name? Well, I'm not your nephew. So your name's Ricardo, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking printing Kaka on the back of your kid. That's not your name, you daft cunt. It'd be funny to see. Yeah, like play. Chicharito. My nephew he just went big oh, dick, bro. Put it on me shirt. That just yeah. means little P, doesn't it? That's yeah, no, but name. it is not all sports let you go, what's what's the name you like? Yeah. Like footy is a bit like, ah, you want to be called what you can be called. It's like, like quite uh, progressive. Have you seen Trezeguet one, the Egyptian? Is there a, is there a Egyptian He's called Trezeguet because After he, David. Because he looks like Trezeguet. I'm not I'm not messing. Well, it was his nickname. Yeah, no, yeah, a, yeah. But it's now his name in football. Because he looks like Trezeguet. He gets called Trezeguet. That's his name in football. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I reckon they should start doing like new names. So like, talk Arthur, go for like Dermot or Eamon. Dermot. Ra- Rylan. A Bra- so just a Brazilian. This morning presenters. Yeah. A yeah, really yeah. creative Brazilian midfielder called Dermot O'Leary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Inho. It would be sick though. Dermotinho. No, just Dermot. D- Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Not, He's unbelievable. There's a Fred, isn't there? There's a Jeff Inyo. I know there's a Fred. It just, it, I, if you can choose your own name, how are you Brazilian going, yeah, I want to be Fred. Come on, man. That's Jeff exotic Inyo. to him. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It is though, isn't it? Oh. He named himself after the weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> and he was gutted yes. when he found out he wasn't the weatherman no more. The new Brazilian midfielder, fatty cunt. <laughs> Shagging kids, wasn't he? That's mad, isn't it? What? You don't know Fred the weatherman's a nonce, but... Is he? Can we get a, a VAR on? He's in prison for bombing kids. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> okay. the Is that the VAR? Allegedly. Oh, uh, no, it's I don't not alleged. Know. He's. Co- I he's don't convic- think he was shagging him, was he? I thought he was yeah. just. This is what I meant. This is what I meant with VAR. Stuff. What you've done is comedy feels. Yeah. Now he's in prison for bombing children <laughs> against <laughs> their will. It's on his rap sheet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know you go to the prison even if they want it? <laughs> Do you know what? Adam's right. Yeah, he was oh. shagging kids. Play on. 
Yeah. Schoolboys. He was shagging them on the little map of the UK on the Albert Dock after dark. Come on. <laughs> Come to the Can island, man. Me. They show that on E4. <laughs> it doesn't count in fucking Northern Ireland. Come on. Yeah. Let's yeah. hop across. Schoolboys. I always didn't like him. My mum said that. As soon as it came out, she was like, when you were little, you used to hide from Fred the Weatherman. When What's he came he doing on the house? telly. <laughs> Ooh, are you a na- <laughs> Are you a natural nonce hunter? My, my nonce senses were tingling think- as a kid. Really? Is that because... I bode well for you, though, because he goes to Nando's with you all the time. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Trust you. Oh, he is. There you go. <laughs> or, I'll tell you that. He's, he's organising a sting. Yeah. You know? Like oh, them nonce okay, yeah, yeah. when you go, what are you doing here? I mean, it's like, oh, you know, I just being nice. Oh shit! Is there anyone else you had? What had, are you doing like, here? Me and a twenty-four-year-old for the seventy-second yeah. time. Yeah, Go Who? out to pee the file. <laughs> no, we're not saying the nonsense. We're just saying Finn thinks you are the ones that I just got the creeps about. Yeah, okay. um, John McCrick, but he's dead. Right. Oh, he was, him. he was deaf. I was wrong. Didn't he? Who was John McCrick? He was a fuck up. Oh, the the glasses the, on the, the, the horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He used to Didn't fuck like horses. Yeah, what? yeah, that's a good one. Now. Yeah. What gave you the impression that he was a weird cunt? <laughs> I don't know. God, amazing senses you've got. Similar. I think it was a lot of people that were on Celebrity Big Brother. I think that was all in my house. What was the guy that uh, drank like a cat? Oh, oh George, George Galloway. Galloway. George Galloway. He's blocked me on Twitter, and I've never interacted <laughs> with him. Never. Not once. <laughs> <laughs> and he came into my work once and then he went over and went, why have you blocked me on Twitter? I searched like my name, his name, nothing. He's blocked me. You fucking stupid get. <laughs> he came into your work? Came back, into in my, the... back in Miyagi, yeah. He was sat in the corner with his wife and a fucking stupid hat on. Him, not his wife. And then he went over and went, lad, why have you blocked me on Twitter? I've never interacted with you. You shook. <laughs> Something's happened when he's threatened. He's just heard about you. and gone, nah, fuck that. He'll come for me one day. I probably will. Who else, Finn? He's an amazing um, public speaker, George Galloway. I love his voice. Yeah. He's a bit of a fuck. That was the same hat. Yes. Cunt, isn't he? Um, who else didn't I like? Um, the guy that was on Pop Idol. Gareth Gates. No, the judge. Will Young. That was the judge. Nick. Nick, Nick Knowles. No, not Nick Knowles. <laughs> Nick was it Nick's Waterman? Oh, the old Nasty one. Nasty Nick from the Big old Brothers. One. And then Waterman, was the f- it? In the first oh, season. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the fat old g- get. Yeah. No, 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 he wasn't Was fat. it Nick Waterman? Like white hair. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't um, remember his name. Louis Walsh. It, but Pop he was Idol. Louis Walsh. Yeah. Yeah, he was Pete Waterman. Pete yeah. Waterman. He was Louis Walsh, wasn't he? I'm ah, sure. He's a, I'm, he's sure a he's, get. I'm sure he's a lovely guy, but I don't know. He's got bad vibes. Keep on the lookout, kids. They're about. <laughs> For Pete Waterman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a nasty man, him. I feel that. Like, oh, yeah, that's weird, though. You've got a good nonce radar. Do you ever Thank get you. it in the wild? Do you just be like, there's a pedo close? Yeah. Where? Nando's. Where? <laughs> it's, not, it's not Nando's. It's more like Foot Locker or the, the foot people. Oh. You could smell a Tarantino. People, people who need new shoes. <laughs> no, you could smell like someone that's a bit tarantino you know what I mean? Oh, they like They're feet. a bit too into feet. Tarantino loves feet, doesn't Are you it? casting aspersions over anyone that sells shoes in the UK? That's no, no, Although, the, to be fair. the people working there. Oh, right. Sorry. The people that are just in the corner just looking. Have you ever been to Clark's? Oh. I did. I used to get my school shoes from Bet Clark's. you did. Yeah. Start telling him to stop taking pictures, Mum. <laughs> Adam's interested in the feed. No, I'm just concerned that Finn's going into Foot Locker and there's a man in the corner watching everyone and he's not doing anything about it. He might be the security guard, I don't know. <laughs> he's still doing the radio. Yeah, no, there's one who keeps looking at me. He's very suspicious. There's a lot of paedophiles in shops. They've set cameras up everywhere. They're always watching, I can tell. That's a good... If you're a foot fetishist, what, yeah? Go yeah. work down JD. Fetishizer. Yeah. Have you ever smart feet? Have you ever fucked feet? No, Laura's got absolutely horrific no. hooves. Whoa. Oh, I wouldn't be able to fit those. Her big toe. Why Why did I you couldn't... instantly go to you being fucked by feet? What? what? Was no, he, he means like a you... foot job. Oh, I, oh, I thought he meant what being did, fucked you by You get feet. them to put their feet together and you fuck their feet. Like oh, it's a big pussy. I thought, oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, she'd break it. He went dick. to up his ass, I think, were you? No, I was thinking sucking. No. No, foot job. Oh, right, okay. I'm j- like, foot fetishes dragging. are very common. What? Foot fetish is quite a common one. I get it. Yeah. I do get it. No, it's like I haven't done it. But like if a girl was like, Do you want to fuck me feet? I'd try it. Do you know what I mean? There's a very fine line between mm. nice feet and horrible feet though, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, you know what? In the moment, no, it's, it's very... all about we've said it before, it's all about when they ask. If you've just, you know, yeah, had a Sunday if you're roast. On the school yeah, run. <laughs> yeah, if you're on the school run, if you just had a Sunday roast at her mum's house and she's just in the car back and she's like, Do you want to fuck me feet? You're like, No. Yeah, well, I just want to go home and watch the fucking match. Like, 
<laughs> if it's mid like sex, <laughs> whatever's on, I'll watch the match. Hey, when we get in, you want to fuck me face? No, I want to watch the match. You don't like fuzzy. That's when it's I'm watching the match tonight. Put your feet away. Fucking your bed's feet in Air Mars house when they're downstairs cooking the Sunday look roast. That's nasty and good, isn't it? I made a girl no, square on a Mars bed once and it was one of the best things I've ever done. She pissed on an old mum's bed. It wasn't piss, it was square. <laughs> it is just piss. <laughs> <laughs> um, not when they were in the house. What? No, is... mum was at work. Oh. Where she was, was a the... cleaner downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the downstairs Great. toilet. Oh, so good. Where was her dad? I don't know. Oh, right. <laughs> he wasn't right. <laughs> Before we start, by the way, where's your dad? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I no, no, tabs on no, I mean, but he's fucking trying to do foot jobs. No, he had, he had the Rose PA been... following his dad to make sure he was a distance. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to fuck me in the mum's bed? I need to know where your dad is first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not starting until your dad shares his location with us. <laughs> on WhatsApp? Yeah. Nice. I fucked a girl in my nana's a spare room. Oh, yes. <laughs> it does sound like a euphemism, doesn't it? You call her ass your non spare room. <laughs> Not even air nuns. Can I fuck you in my nuns? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she went, Oh, you are quite a big boy. And I've remembered it for fucking years. Yeah. yeah cause I, think, I think I might just have been <laughs> overweight at, 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 at the time. Men do remember compliments. But it's yeah. the only time it's ever been said. So. Yeah, but you'll remember it forever. Oh, 100%. Did, we get did you happen. appreciate that? Even though, you know, you've only got a little maggot. I know you haven't got like a maggot. I've seen your I mean? dick. Your dick is fine. I know, but it's funny to just do the little yeah. dick thing when he's doing the big dick thing in it. Come yeah. on. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. A big dick. I, I keep getting messages from women who are, like listen to the pod who are like, oh, I've heard you've got an absolute fucking boy and bruiser. And I'm like, look, we can <laughs> fuck if you want. But like, <laughs> it's gonna be... tone that down. <laughs> <laughs> You whip out. <laughs> well, I'm a fucking ten pound peacher, and that's a disappointment. <laughs> it's just a good. If I'm having a good dick day, you'd be like fucking hell, fair play, ad. But like, it's just sound. It's good. Saw the video the other day, and women want six, seven max. Yeah, no, they. That's just them being pick me girls. But if me. you pay off the mortgage, they're happy with four. <laughs> <laughs> you that's, can't get ten inches in there, though. What do you mean? No, not all of it's going in, is it? No. You can get as much dick as you want in an arsehole. <laughs> Arseholes go on forever. <laughs> Come on, the back with a mouth. Which one? Nobody do that. The infinite arsehole. <laughs> My nana's spare room. <laughs> they go on forever. Pretty much. <laughs> like, there isn't, the a, there isn't a dick big enough that can't get in, a, in an arsehole. Depends and they the stretch as well, don't they? They gape. <laughs> big fan of the arsehole. It depends who the woman is. She could be short. That's true. But you know, ten inches. Uh, I would suggest <laughs> the woman's bigger than ten inches. You are looking for a specialist lady, <coughs> yeah. Because from what I understand, there are some women who no. are, have been built, have been built, yeah, with some some you know some deeper equipment. Would you rather have like ten inches and it be like a bit skinny, or like four and it's got a bit of fucking girthage? Well, apparently the girths what, what what they're all after, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, what do you want? You don't want a fucking like yeah, that's horrible, isn't Spaghetti it? Spaghetti dick. Oh no, I go four in a chunk. Yeah, because they're not gonna feel like going in, are they? Fucking like Doctor Pepper can like a dipstick. The thing is, though, it's all about angles, isn't it? It's like snooker. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like if you go, if you like, if you go into a vagina like oh. that. Not oh, feeling oh, audio listeners, this. audio you, listeners, you are not missing out on anything here. <laughs> but if you like go in at an angle, then it feels girthy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Top spin. You need to be rubbing the sides. Yeah, you want yeah, it to, yeah, yeah. Stick to one side. You want it to spin off the bed and you finish. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stick to one side. <laughs> like pillow. Just before I bang my wife, I take uh, four steps back, three to the right, and just get in at that angle. Johnny Wilkins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right in a Nana's spare room. Yeah. But like, I used to think that was a, all a myth that, like, oh, it's not the size of the ammon, it's what you do with your ammon or whatever the phrase is. Um, <laughs> I think it's not the size of the nail. Um, but like, it's not if you've got a hammer, it's where you hit me with the hammer. <laughs> that old saying. Stick your hammer in my fanny. You know, that old saying. But like, you, you can sort of, you can do damage with whatever you've got as long as you like put some graft in. You just can't be like down Main Street, you know what I mean? I think early jizzing is. Whatever equipment you've got, 
is all useful if you can't A, get it up, or you're going early jizz. Oh, I've got low testosterone. What? I've got low testosterone. I tested. But you mad, that, but you like wank you're all the time. I know, but I think it's, you know, the people that have tested me for low testosterone are a company that are selling testosterone. So I'm not sure they're the most stringent of testers. Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, this is low. You might be wanking the testosterone out. Yeah. Aren't all men lower now than they used to be because yeah, of like of phones diet. and diet. diet and stuff? Yeah. I'm masturbating seven to eight times a week. I think that's been happening for a while. Yeah, and not any, only eating carbohydrate apart from when you're at Nando's. Why don't you stop wanking for the weekend and do the test again? Oh, what? I can't do you want gosh. higher testosterone? You've got a proper libido, like honey, haven't you? Mm. I haven't had the wank for like three days. I rang Longley. I can't go three days. I rang Longley. I rang Dave Longley, who, if you're a comedian and you're thinking about testosterone replacement therapy, he's a fucking specimen, isn't he? He's done after he's talked about it, he's been open about it, and he's done he knows weightlifting and stuff, and he's also intelligent, articulate. So he reads up about stuff. So I rang him, asked him how he is, and then you could tell he he's so down, like he just gets to the point. What could, you he want? nearly went, what are you after? Yeah. But we've been mates for a long time. I started out with him. He's a good pal. And then I was like, got a couple of questions because I've been going to the gym. And I don't want to be going to the gym if I've got no testosterone. Like what's the, I don't want to be, because apparently the body you've got at 40 is pretty much the body you've got for, for nearly all men. If oh, you've let it get to that point the body? and you've just let it slide and you're pudgy, then it's very difficult after that age to yeah, sort of, more it, it can be done. It can be done, but if you just generalize, if at 40, you've just gone to shit, it's harder because your testosterone starts going lower. You haven't got, this is what I'm worried about. So I think I need to start juicing. I've been to the, <laughs> I've been to the gym. Juicing is in steads, not like oh, no. smoothies. No, not smoothies. <laughs> that sounds awful. You know. You get on a test, yeah. I don't know, but I, I've been to the gym nine times and I'm genuinely <laughs> enjoying it. I'm, I'm off the shite. I'm thinking I about- new teeth. I, I want to get on the shite. I think you're just like replacing coke. I know! Dan, what did I call you? A dirty get? <laughs> no! You're a dirty get. But I can't do coke again because Laura will leave me. And she's right. I'm old. She I've doesn't had... want steadhead, Dan, either. <laughs> she does. She does. But it. think about Pulling it. doors off the just when you walk <laughs> in the house. Oh, God, just imagine my compound. What do you do? Tell me. I can't wait. You can't wank that away, though. Yeah. So, here, if you're on the juice, you bought... Juice. Yeah. Right, yeah. The steadhead. This stuff. You, you call it juice. Just... When you call it yeah. juices. By the way, multiple. I'm bringing this up for a reason, you know. <laughs> See in my DMs. And um, what? Apparently, your balls stop working as much. You're just yeah. less horny. Yeah. yeah. So... It's, I don't but also it makes your dick smaller as well. Yeah, oh, you're gonna have a ninny. Yeah, but I, but like <laughs> Loz has got a, a low sex drive compared to me. I got a high sex drive. I don't want that imbalance to cause problems long term. She's the woman of my dreams. I love her, right? So what if I'm just juiced up, <laughs> dicks out of action? She's not asked. I'm walking around, throwing the kids around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what happens there is you inject something and then take away something again, and then you're just fucking hyped and nowhere to put it. And oh. so that's when you start beating women or some sort of eunuch as well. <laughs> what? Some sort of eunuch. <clears throat> Listen, my dick is, I can, I'll lose an inch. A unit it's, eunuch. A you, yes. No, but if you're wanking away what? your, like, stress, if you're stopping wanking and injecting, you're going to be a big roided. dad. I'll, I'll lift away my stress, mate. That's what I'm going to do. Should see me on the lap pull down. I don't know if it's called that. I think it is. So loved it. I'm getting into it. I'm doing that. And I now. think I think it's going to help with the whole. I'm a horny little fucker. Let's take that away. Let's get some neck. Do you want to do deadlifts with me? That's not doing deadlift. Eighty. I don't know that. Is that the one where you you lift it up a bit? It's super heavy, and then you drop it yeah. to be annoying in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. I could be that guy, yeah. I did, I did, I did 80 the other day, I was proud of myself. That might be a lot to, not be a lot to the listeners. But. Oh, and I saw uh, a, a, influ a gym influencer in the wild. A woman or a woman man? filming. You know, when I started the gym, this is like a month ago, and I went, it's Bunda Central. Yeah. I've acclimatized to the Bunda now. It just took a while. And don't say Bunda. I, suit you. <laughs> I will exclusively say Bunda <laughs> forever if one more person says that. Uh, there's Batiole. Everywhere. Ooh. It just Ooh, yeah. took a little bit of adapting to. There's Nana's spare room everywhere, right? It's like a retirement home. Yeah. So I've just, I'm used to that now, but I saw one like doing the, she set the camera up 
I can see what you, you said. You've got to be careful because you'd be on TikTok. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. There's what, cameras. What were you doing behind There's cameras everywhere. It's like JD Sports. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, I, so you just you just know not to be like, and she, I guess she's got a great, she's got a great spare room, right? Yeah. Do you know who Joey Phenomenal. Swole is? Yeah, me in two months. <laughs> no, Joey Swole is the guy. You know Joey Swole is? Oh. <coughs> Bless you. Lord. Joey Swole's on social media and he's the guy who... Um, he enforces gym etiquette. People like when he sees them girls, he's like, "No, fuck off." There's people in the gym who don't want you to be felt. He's he's sick. Who, but who's hot? Like, I've I've now seen the fucking thing where everyone's like, "Oh, I've just like it's the Karen, the gym Karen's kicking off about it." Who's asked? Just let everyone like if they want to film. No, no, the issue isn't them filming. The issue is them having issues with them people being in their film. Go away, I'm filming. Yeah, you can't do that. This is a public space. Cool, you're being the knobhead. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not but, like. Uh, but I've like, seen no. I've seen videos of people going, oh, "What are you filming for? I don't want to be in your film." Like, uh, you're in a public place. Exactly. Who's asked? But that's the point. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. You should be able to go to a public space and feel safe. I think I might start photo bombing all of the influencers, not by being a perv, just by like. Or be like an over the top pervert when she starts filming, just go over and go, hey, love, crack and bum all there. Eh? <laughs> oh, well, if my dick still worked, which it doesn't, because of the roids. <laughs> I loved what he said. <clears throat> You're not going to look like a pervert. You're going to do this behind them. <laughs> <laughs> no, pervert, no, just look. I just, I just, it's, they're doing a really cool video of whatever, and then there's me just going, in fact, why don't you start doing that? Why don't you be the influencer? Wouldn't that be funny? You as said well? you need to get your TikTok going. That's the way. Oh, no one wants to see that. They do. They do you know? Just That'd be funny. Be funny. I'd watch that. Well, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Would it? Yeah. 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 My Instagram's basically a cooking and clothing Instagram now. That's Mine's all got, I post. Mine's got dogs in it. Ah. Oh, do you mean what you post, not what you see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you could be the just start there. a cycle. Here's an injection. <laughs> yeah. What could your name be? Um, go on. Let's yeah, workshop yeah. it. I'm open to su suggestions. Have wordpod at gmail dot com. Dan Yellow Westbrook. <laughs> it's like the God. I don't know why no one's ever said I've that. Yeah, Night yeah. and Gaines. Night and Gaines. Dan Night and Gaines. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Follow me on. We can socials. <laughs> yeah, but they can track your progress and they can go along with you and go ah. Oh. Yeah. If they could track my pro uh, progress to a dealer, that'd be great. The best place to find someone who sells drugs of uh, that is the gym, isn't it? I don't think. Uh, I'm not just trying to suck up to my gym. Total Fitness does not give no, off no, that I think vibe. if you go in there and see a man who's clearly on it and go, hey, where do you... Uh, so you go up to the biggest swole <laughs> fucking vein in his head and go, hey, do you know that illegal thing? Why can you help me out? Just use better words. Oh, right, right, right. That, that, I'm like, sure that, you get so you'll big. get some DMs now. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Anyone who's got some juice... Not yeah. Robinson's <laughs> message, Dan. Yeah, I've got some fucking barley water here, lad. Got any cordial, lad? Oh, I'd love some cordial right now. Let's yeah. get you some cordial. Yeah. Do you mean steroids? No. All right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Now it's time for me to tell you about my absolutely favourite sponsor. It's Manscaped.com. 2024 is here in full swing, and that means it's time for a New Year's resolution check-in with our friends at Manscaped. Ah, uh, it's never too late to sort out your pube game, and Manscaped is the product for you. Trusted by over 10 million men worldwide, they've been shaving their balls, mmm, smooth, <laughs> with Manscaped.com. The new Lawnmower 5.0 is, in technical terms, the absolute shit. It's a very, very good piece of equipment. Try it on your bumhole, your balls, your tum-tum, and your hairy nip-nips. It does all of them. And maybe your missus, your partner, your wife is hairy. Shave her nip-nips as well. Manscaped.com. Use code WORD20 for 20% off worldwide shipping. Is that right, Steve? Is it shipping worldwide? It's 20% off anyway. Manscaped.com. Use code WORD20. Mmm. Quality. And we are... Back. I'm going to the Frog and Bucket's 30th birthday party tomorrow night with Will Hutchby. Happy birthday, the Frog and Bucket Comedy Club. I will be in Swindon. Oh, well, happy birthday, Swindon. Birthday. You love playing Swindon. It's where you grew up as a comic, isn't it? You were always down Swindon. <laughs> I've actually done Swindon three times before, which is mad, isn't it? Have I never done? I've done Swindon once. Where's Swindon? Is that down south? The it's M4, near Bristol. M4 Corridor. I've got to be honest with you, yeah. 
the tour I've done, I'm not going to tour like this again because there is so many places near each other that I've done. Like, I've already done Bristol and Bath and now I'm doing Swindon and Newport and I've still got Cardiff to come. That could have been two shows. The routing for your tour also seems absolutely mental. Yeah, last week when I did Bath, then Dudley, then South End, yeah. that did feel Super. like someone was having a laugh with me. That's um, a little bit mental, but it's difficult, isn't it? You're doing a lot of dates. I, I don't think I'm going to tour like this again. So what, do bigger rooms, bigger cities, I, I think I'm going to do much, like, much more warm-up shows and fuck around. And then I'll do like a run of maybe like 10 to 15 tour shows in big rooms and then nice. that'll be it. Well, happy birthday, the Frog and Bucket. Yeah, it's my birthday on Saturday. And happy birthday, Carl When you're listening Riegler. to this, Patreon's on Saturday. It's my birthday. Up the depleted Reds on Sunday as well. I'm going mm-hmm. to Wembley. Seneca's birthday Maybe Klopp's last final. What? what? No, hopefully not. Hopefully not, but could be. Um, what do you mean, depleted? What's up with them? Everyone's injured. They've got Are a full they? team of injuries. Dropping like I know, flies. I know Yotta's injured. So we've got no, we've got no Allison. So we've got no goalie. <laughs> we've got no Trent Alexander-Arnold. Matter. Got no Stacey, no Gemma. No, <laughs> no Trent, no Matip, no Sabozlai, no Thiago, no Jones, no B- Badge Setter. But we're still going to win the league. Hey. Uh, no Jota, no Nunes, no Salah. So our actual like, our <laughs> What? Fit, I know. You haven't got, it's, it's basically a left back away from a full team. Yeah. Damn. But like our first choice front three, all three of them are out. All of them still win the cup. You know that? But, it'll be nil nil again. But the thing to remember is, happy birthday, the Frog and Bucket. <laughs> and you know. Serica's birthday on Sunday. And well. Serica's birthday on Sunday. You know? What are they doing for the celebrations of the Frog? Are They're they injuring doing? another li- Liverpool football <laughs> yeah. player. It's wow. what everyone wants. They're going after the a left back. Top of the league. And mad. I know the left backs. They are Robertson, yes. Simicus, yeah. and Gomez sometimes. Yeah. Hey! Yes. doesn't like football. I don't. I'm not into it. I'll but I forget follow that. it. Uh, bang right bang in the middle of the league one of them seasons where you're like oh are we going to play oh well, Everton find out whether we get our points back in the next couple of oh, it's exciting isn't it no. I mean the football isn't but finding out how many points you get given or taken off you it's basically how many wins or draws we're going to get in the next couple of days without playing football yeah but what's <laughs> going to happen when Man City are in league two that's going to be fun as well isn't well, it I, I believe what he said today I think that was off pod the conspiracy about who owns them again UAE is it yeah the UAE have, the UAE have a lot of money in this country as we know uh, they essentially threatened the UK by saying, if you fuck City over, we'll fuck your economy over. And it's such an obvious, like, that's not wild. Mm. I was told that rumour by an Everton fan taxi driver. <laughs> so, it's a it is, it is like, I understand it, but it is wild. It would not be a direct threat. It is like, wild oh. that one of the, <laughs> that one of the Emirates threatens a country because they've got, fair play rules in their football. And it's a bit wild, but I'm not saying it's completely ridiculous. The football's nearly finished anyway. It's got a couple of years left, Max. Yeah. So when the leagues is need, we get like the 40 years nearly done. If it's they the, bring it's that the blue most, card thing in. It's yeah, the yeah. most profitable it's profitable it's ever been. It's going nowhere. Yeah, no, have you seen the blue card thing, Dan? I, I have, guys, but it dominates every other sport in this country. Like... That you could combine all the other sports and they don't do yeah, the money that the no, no, but does. what Carl is saying, like they're ruining it, it. they're fanning him. Gone. In it. I mean, it's, like it's no, the it's love. nowhere near as good to watch as it was five years <laughs> ago. Oh my god, that's Pep's fault. Like 2013, 15, 16, them years because he's been too good. No, it's so boring. Good. He's taken the individuality out of football, yeah. But wait till Pep's in League Two. What's he gonna do? No then? one scores bangers anymore. It's all about pass percent. I'm sorry if you don't like football, it's all about pass percentages, it's all about. It's all about numbers now. It's all about having fun no it's more. Not even ju- I'm not even talking about the style of play because I still I love watching Liverpool play because we're really, really good and it's fast and exciting. But um, the, too, the too game's minutes. just... The time-wasting is so dull. Every team... Uh, that's, any team that's worse than, yeah, time wastes for 90 minutes. Yeah, because the gap is getting bigger, which yeah. is not their fault. Yeah. Um, they, need, they need some advantage and if that's wasting time, they're going to take it. One more player? Yeah. <laughs> VAR. Like, I don't celebrate goals anymore. We wait. score, and I look at the linesman, and I'm like, right, is yeah. he, oh, are we, right, we're going to... When you it. concede, you go, oh, I hope they've somehow fucked this. Yeah. An initial celebration, isn't it? Uh, hey, second one. It's, yeah. it's, it's fucking the mad. The soul is nearly gone. It's nearly a middle-class sport, which is wild, because it's the most fucking working-class sport ever. Done. 
And, uh, but the main thing is happy birthday to the frog and bucket comedy and club. Me. That's what we're saying, isn't it? The death of football for 30 years being one of the best clubs in the Northwest. Unbelievable. Yeah. Do you want to do some questions? Nice. Uh, Callum says, with Adam doing a marathon and you boys doing a charity bike ride, got me thinking, say a charity came to you with a fundraising idea, is there any challenge you would love to do and are there any space you race. absolutely cannot... <laughs> space race? Space... <laughs> space... <laughs> With the Soviet <laughs> Union. Any... <laughs> Nuclear arms race? Go. Right. Uh, are there any apps you absolutely uh, cannot even entertain the idea of? The sea. Is there any you'd love to do? And then we'll run through the ones he's, he's put as suggestions. I wouldn't like to swim the Atlantic. So? Oh, so you'll swim the channel. Because Callum's put swim the channel. Uh, no, I think swimming is just a bad idea. Yeah, I think Atlantic is a push, isn't it? <laughs> I'd be an impressive start, lad. Have you Has anyone pushed? ever done that, though? No. No, you would die know. in no. very quickly. Adam, you need to stop at Ireland. No, I'm swimming around it. <laughs> Should have started. I want to start in Liverpool. I think it's the temperature as well as the distance, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a long cold plunge, isn't it? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. I imagine it is. <laughs> The temperature. Ask the people uh, on know. the Titanic. Uh -huh. And the fact it would take you uh, 16 months. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's really going to cause problems. <laughs> Imagine sleeping. Uh, what if you swam it, it with a boat? That's done... Sorry, go on. What if you swam it with a boat alongside you and you just get out every now and then and have a little cup of tea in that and then you go know, right back in this water? So oh, are yeah, you yeah, saying yeah. sail the Atlantic and every now and again jump in the sea? You could do that. <laughs> no, no. Have a fucking paddle. Back you come. Let's do 100 miles. Adam's done. So whenever Do you know, you Adam's boat, gone around the world. Whenever you get on the boat, it has to, it, you, you, it has to dock. Ah. Oh. Dock. You know what I mean? Drop the anchor. Yeah. Drop yeah. the anchor. In the middle of the Atlantic, drop the anchor. <laughs> how big is the anchor? Here's a question, by the way. What? Should the anchor be... Do you know how anchors work? Should... You can't drop an anchor in the middle of the Atlantic. <laughs> no, that's the question. Miles! <laughs> no. Don't worry, lads. We've dropped the anchor. It's a big storm. Shouldn't the anchor be heavier than the boat? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a question, isn't it? How does it sit on the boat? What how does mean? the boat? Should the anchor be heavier than the boat? Well, <laughs> what, what, how do you think anchors work? Weight. No, no. The little hooks. Yeah, but as well as weight, it's not made out of breadsticks, is it? This is a ridiculous anchor. It's not heavier than the boat. <laughs> yeah, well, we tried that one, Captain Carl, and uh, it did sink the vessel that's in the fucking dock. Wouldn't it sink the boat? You know, anchors are mad, aren't they? I yeah. think they hook onto the floor and then they don't move. But what if the floor's soft? It has to be soft. Oh, it goes into the mud? Yeah. <laughs> How do you know it's, it's like, it's it's like a gold clear. net peg. We don't know anchors. <laughs> do the pegs you put in a... In oh, a, in I a missed anchor net. class in school. Yeah. Fucking do Johnny not, Anchor over here. Do you not do G GCC anchor? No. I've, I've put an anchor down before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my neck hurt then. Bum the man. That? Well, I I, uh, I got a boat and drove it around Capri, didn't I? <laughs> and uh, if you wanted to stop for a bit, you had to put the anchor down. Well, you can't do that in the sea, apparently. Uh, what? what? How big was the boat? What do you mean? <laughs> How big did you have an anchor? Yeah, I thought you were just in a little rowy, rowy boat. No, it's an electric boat. Them. You thought I was rowing around Capri? Not electric. No, I had a I kind of thought, you had a speedboat. Well. How yeah. fucking poo would that be? I, in my head, he was just like, what? Come on, girl. Let's get around this island. Yeah, for search boats. Oh, like the one we were uh, on. Yeah, but I'm the guessing end, a bit the smaller. Of, yeah. The end of Tenerife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit smaller. Though. That was a nice one, wasn't it? Yeah. They were swingers then. Were they? <laughs> I got a vibe. She was a woman, eh? When did she I, was, yeah. When did I go? Uh, uh, September. End of September. Was that? No, that was. That was. Um, oh, no, you're right. Mykonos, wasn't it? Um, when did I go to Italy? I don't know. June? Uh, no. Well, it was June. Was it July now? Guess Adam's holiday. I thought it was July. I googled what the longest swim ever was. It's 155 miles. In one go? In one go. We're doing that in a bike in well, one day. That's way more than the channel. Is the channel about 15, 20? It's not big, is it? But this was... Um, it's not big, is it? Oh, in... David Williams did it, didn't he? That's what I was driving, lad. <laughs> Self-yellow car. <laughs> Have I seen that? Oh, oh my God. You suit that so much. <laughs> you should be a drug runner. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen I mean, the police said no. The Coast Guard. Yeah. Um, How would you drop? 155 miles. 15. 155 miles. Oh, 55. That is bare swimming, isn't it? Pablo Fernandez. Yeah, he was Cuban. Where did he go from and to? Uh, Cuba to Florida to start a new life. Yes. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> it was just in Miami. I couldn't yeah, swim yeah. a mile. He ended up in Miami. Do you reckon yeah. you could swim a mile? No. I'm not a particularly strong swimmer. I like splashing. 
<laughs> I like standing in the pool, don't I? So. I just like being in water. I am an Olympic level splasher. I'll tell you that. Dan, you I'm, all, I'm so up? conscious of my shoulder coming out when I'm in water as well. No, my so like, I can't be like swimming the Atlantic and get my shoulder popped out. Chance. You could swim a mile. No. Bruh. Yes. Oh, I've called. 1,600 meters? Yeah. yeah, you could. How many lengths is that? What's the average? It depends how big the pool is. Olympic size? Of course. Yeah. If it's, 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 if it's an 800 out. meter pool, it's just two lengths. Stop being a pussy. <laughs> a mile? It's a big pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could see. Yeah, I get it. When we were in that boat in Tenerife, I was like, you could swim to the coast from there. You're like, lat. You jumped off the boat and shit yourself? Yeah, no, that's the problem. I can't swim, but I'm scared of sharkies. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, I'm not doing the sea and I'm not doing heights because they're the things I'm scared skydive. of. Skydive. Well, I've already done a skydive. That wasn't even for charity. That because I basically was a prick. Uh, it was a forfeit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you made me leave me else. Never doing that again, though. And it's not the falling, it's the thing that's holding you in the air, making you feel like a fat twat. Yeah, but when you're swole. Yeah. Do it again. I'm going to be the same weight, but it'll all be muscle. Exactly. Yeah, you'll, look, you'll look cool. Mm, I'll just, what I'll do is I'll jump out of the plane, no parachute, just twat the ground. Would yeah. you do animals? Would I have sex with an animal? <laughs> <laughs> For charity? No, but I mean... Who like... am I, David? <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Would you get in with animals, Dan? <laughs> no. Because they... You don't know, do you? Sharks, tanks... Is she the shark killed tanks. itself? What? She the shark killed itself? What? On a kid's phone. <laughs> So Joe, when you're in a shark tank, swimming. Joe, when you're in a, a cage underwater, the shark tried to get its head in and then spun and uh, broke its own neck and just sank to the bottom. Wait. Oh, it didn't kill itself. I thought you meant like it literally committed suicide. It, it like, looks I've like had it enough. does. <laughs> I've had enough of being a shark. So it was trying to kill the person in the it tank. It was trying to get in the cage like that and got its head in and then like shit itself and spun and then like falls back and snaps its neck and then just slowly falls to the bottom. Well, can't they only swim forwards? Yeah. Oh, right. be, so. And birds can't. No, but they can dance sideways. <laughs> True. Uh, birds can't uh, fly upwards either. It's a fact. They can't fly directly up. They can, you have to do that. You have to like circle to get higher. Do, yeah. Do you know, allegedly, <laughs> I don't want to get sued by birds. Um, do you know the shark thing? Recommend it. Do you know the sh <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's been fun today. More booze. And the 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 thing with the shark tank is when people are like, oh, it's mad, it's scary, isn't it? You're like, yeah, because you you're egging them on, aren't you? You're basically going, fuck, you'd love to eat this. And then they're like, oh, God, <laughs> like, do you want a bit? Why are yeah. we doing that? Would you do Just that? Leave them the fuck alone. Would you do that? Would you get in a shark cage? No, 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 no. Also, where? I don't know who's looking after the cage. What? Bless you. What? Uh, who's running it? Not well. Some international oh, sharks, type. sharks are us. It, if it's a well-respected Shark Tank company, yeah. yeah. Is it fucking Pedro down the dock? The I'm Titanic not doing it. guys. No, I don't like it. We put a bit of chum in. <laughs> you make them angry. Look at them swim. They want to eat you. I wouldn't do any sea stuff and no heights, as long as I've got my feet firmly on the ground. Abseil a tall building. That's heights. Yeah, it is. Isn't I it? wouldn't do that in the sea either. <laughs> I'd abseil a tall building for charity if it was the right charity. It's always place. Uh, have you done ab abseiling? It is very fun abseiling. Yeah. Like I, I remember doing it. In is that like where pubs. you look like a window cleaner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you just, if you get confident with it and you and you can really bounce down. So you're wanking yourself off. Uh, I've done bouldering. I've climbed up a waterfall. Climbed up a waterfall? Yeah, bouldering in the lakes. Well, it was uh, it was actually girl scrambling with a bit of bouldering. Girl scrambling. Girl scrambling. Girl scrambling. In the same words that I don't understand. So fun. Climb um, the waterfall. Caving can just fuck right off. Oh, that is natural selection at its finest. Um, the other one, he, uh, the other two that he suggested were climb a mountain, something easier than Everest. You've done Kilimanjaro. You pooed yourself near base camp, didn't you? But you've done it before, haven't you? This is Will. Right. I'll be honest. I know I've you know, off the pills, up the hills, and I've not started that yet. I could see the appeal of doing it, but when you see the Everest ones and they're like, oh yeah, look, that, there's a dead body there. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. I, and apparently with Everest, there's like a queue of people because it's that's so- That's that famous picture, that Nims page. So K2 is the hardest. It's not the highest, it's the hardest. Right. What's K2? It's one of the eight highest peaks in the world. Right. Or 12, sorry. But if you're going to do it, you do Everest, don't you? There's no point climbing a mountain and going, oh, I climbed like the fourth biggest mountain. And yeah. there's all the cunts on Everest laughing at you going, ah. No, it's not that much bigger either. It's yeah, like, it's 100 feet. So, you see, yeah, I don't want to die though. Like, I, that, it's yeah, too... Don't then. 
cool. <laughs> hey, just don't Adam die. on Everest, look at these fucking dickheads. You died, you dick. You should have not done that. But they are stupid. They've done something wrong, haven't they? You just read up on it and do it properly, and you won't die. Is there is there a, there's a part of Everest that's called like the death zone? Is it? Yeah. yeah. You have to sleep in the death zone. It's to do with the oxygen levels and the uh, weather, um, uh, how like crazy the weather is. Nah. Uh, and the bull run. Now I know we've mentioned this I'd a while love ago. To do that. The bull run in Pamplona. Pamplona. If you could do that for charity, hundred percent, hundred percent, without a doubt. And you saying you do it is very high risk because you've got the biggest bunder. To, for the bulls, aren't you? Yeah, so. I'd love to do that. Like, the adrenaline for that would be wild. I'd do that, and it's also in Spain, so we can get some lovely cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, Finn, yeah. would you like to do the section that you were doing, that you put forward just the other week? The stuff, stuff we believe. Stuff we believed as kids. Yeah, we've got I'm a I'm going to hand it over to our Raven correspondent. Yeah, we've had a few of them in. This first one is from Stephen Thale. Um, things you thought as a kid. I used to think that car parks were where cars went to play. <laughs> oh, that's so innocent, the name. Oh, that's if, so cute. If you watch Cars the film as a kid, I imagine that is, that is what would happen. Never thought that, but that's lovely, though. You it innocent, man, this one bastard. Oh, my sister used to call car parks park parks. And my kids still call the remote control the troll commote. <laughs> and Etta is still doing it. And now Jack started doing it. Oh, so he calls remote control of buttons, which is a sex offence. No, offense. he doesn't. Yeah, it's a sex offence. I, I call it, I, I once called it the presser and Danny Mac had a fucking, I oh, just had one of the moments where he's like, what? You know, when you, you're mates with a piss taker. But I couldn't, you know, when you're just trying to, I couldn't think of the fucking yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where's the presser? <laughs> oh, you had a fucking, <laughs> such a good time with what? that. Right. <laughs> Next one, Josh. Who's been a dickhead? Josh Shaw. Believe this till I was sixteen. The snowflake symbol on a microwave chilled things. Does it now? It's defrost, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be such a good microwave. By the, way, by the way, has anyone ever used a microwave on any other setting than the one it's just <laughs> always on for for, for a bit? Yeah, like I've like... never fucked around with. I 900 watts or 800 You're watts. You on or... 200, whatever, cook anything in 20 minutes. I haven't had a microwave for years. Oh, so Don't believe in them. They are real. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> I just think they're shite. Everything yeah. tastes like microwave when it comes out. There's only a couple of things that can work. Like the air fryer is better now. But yeah. But I mean, we've got a, I've got a baby who drinks milk and it's just a quick... All right, just... showing off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm paid for it. <laughs> Put the milk in the air fryer. <laughs> Put the milk in the air fryer. <laughs> Max Crisp comes out like cheese. I haven't cake. got a microwave, but I've got a baby who's in the milk. <laughs> well, I don't believe in them. <laughs> so fucking flexing cunt. <laughs> hey, do you want one of them babies? You drink milk, yeah? Fucking hell. I'm... <laughs> yeah, do me chips in. I've got a microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Same price. The pair, Joe. Uh, this next one's from Steel Hair. <laughs> I believed that a woman's water breaking was nine months worth of piss because the baby <laughs> blocks the piss hole. <laughs> piss hole. <laughs> oh, baby, my water's broke. Just piss. <laughs> Just piss. Pass the press today. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. That's like that's not wild though, is it? Like. <laughs> Says. Yeah. What is it though? Is it cum? The ambi uh, ambionic sac. Am I saying that wrong? The ambiotic. Em ambiotic. 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 Embry em em fluid. Is it? Google that. It's the sac that it's the kid's been living yeah. in. It's his little swimming pool, isn't it? Oh, right. Yes, okay. like, Kendra. Oh, that was the wrong thing. But women Google. do often release other stuff when they do that, don't they? They, always, they shit themselves and they have babies, don't they? Yeah. Amniotic. Amniotic. Because, like, yeah. pushing the They're baby pushing out. out. Yeah, like. Yeah, because you're just pushing your muscles down there. So you're just forcing shite out. Did Laura shit herself? She's C-section. Did she shit herself? <laughs> She's just she just shit herself anyway. She's like, hey, anyway, we're all here, aren't we? Cut me open. Hey, take. They actually took a shit out. I need a shite. <laughs> Did you have Looks a shit? Like you need a shite here, love. We'll just get into that for you. In Don't even need to do it. In the waiting room. It's fucking NHS in. I was what? told I was allowed to shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting what I pay for. I don't care how this baby comes out. So she didn't pay. Double to... C-section. Right. There ain't no. I mean, she the, with with uh, Etta, we went in. It was 
she was obviously breached, which means that she's trying to come down like fucking water shoot. Like first. Like legs first. We were, we found out that she was in labor at four thirty, and Etta was born about four hours later. Like it, it all happened dead quick. Jack, she tried to do a natural birth. Four we, hours later is quick. I'm mad that. We were in Long Eaton doctors at four thirty. Etta was born no nine twenty seven p.m. Can you imagine? Having Fucking a- hell, that moved quick. That was us driving to the hospital. Sitting down, then we had to wait a bit because Laura had eaten because we didn't know she was in labor. Yeah, like point. it was so fast. And then she was like, I need to get this shit ready because obviously I'm going to do one, <laughs> aren't I? Do the poos I hate. Imagine doing a four hour long one of them and it's the biggest poo you've ever had. It's a person. To, with Jack, she was in labor for 26 hours. I was I was a weekend, me, to come out. Fridays and Monday. Yeah. yeah. I can't, I can't, I was there for the whole time and just, I can't really remember just initially it's just she's in pain and it was boring and then I had a nap and then she was more irritated because I was napping and then the doctor came in and went, you need some diamorphine and then I just watched my wife do heroin. Smart. <laughs> and it was great. Really you funny. So if Laura said, sorry, Finn, do you know if Laura said uh, when you had Jack, even though he wasn't planned, you had to carry him, would you have? And you have to pull him out. Oh, so instead of it, she's like, I don't know, it's your go. If it was possible. Yeah. No. You wouldn't have done it. If Laura could earn as well as me. <laughs> no. But you have to factor that in, don't you? I can't be. I'm the, I'm <laughs> earning all the money in the household. I just, I just mean physically, do you reckon you could have done it? N- what you went Probably through. Probably not. I just, I'm getting the a hair removal thing, the laser hair remover on my back. It's really hurty. My wife's had her whole biff done. Like... I was there going, ah, it was fine on my back. And then it got up to near my neck. It's hot, eh? And she, it was, it's like a little, like, I don't know. It's really hard to describe. It's not like a tattoo. That's why I imagine. A, a little bit, but not a, like a tattoo is weirdly, the piercing sensation is so repetitive yeah. that it get, you get used to it almost. It's just constantly uncomfortable. And I also had it done on my bum in front of a load of people. So the adrenaline was up. That's we did it at a podcast show. And it was all, I almost played up to the, like, ah, because I tried to read a question while Dean was doing my tattoo. The This one, you're more relaxed, there's stuff on you. And then all of a sudden you just hear, like, it's like pinching, horrible feel. And I just came away going, Laura's had that done eight times on her biff. Wow. So I think her pain threshold is defo better than mine. Oh, I'd, I'd I think I'd be a baby. pussy boy. You would? Yeah. Do you reckon you could do the, the nine it. months worth of just chaos i'd love to do it just to see how much women are exaggerating <laughs> you know what what I mean? it's it's because st- they fucking go on about it don't they you do mention oh. it out. it's such a great statement like equality i'll do it you know i'll take it on <laughs> just to get one over on <laughs> fucking women no guinness though what you're not allowed to drink no you can if you speak to the right doctor yeah <laughs> yeah eight guinness a day keeps the baby nice, nice and small yeah. Do you reckon you could go through all like the morning sickness and all that? Like, oh, <laughs> that was sad. Oh shit, I didn't even get onto that. That's awful. It's pretty funny though. <laughs> little white head. <laughs> I hope so. What's your baby? Yeah, it's about a uh, 6.2. You pound. wouldn't hope so if the rest of it was black. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, I'd do it and I'd, yeah, keep me, I could train better, couldn't I? If I was off the aisle. Yeah, but you'd be pregnant. You'd be <laughs> heavily pregnant though, wouldn't you? <laughs> so. <laughs> Adam on the test. Why is Adam pregnant? He's just getting off the booze. The hangovers were awful. So now he's carrying a child. <laughs> I don't reckon that. It looks like... There's no way there. carrying a child is worse than what I'm going through today. Not a chance. Your hangover? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it... Hello, it, women of TikTok. <laughs> there's not a chance carrying a baby feels worse and is more painful than how I felt this morning when I woke up. Not a, not a chance. Isn't every They're day full of shit. What? Isn't, isn't every day a hangover not, though? It, it? Isn't every day a hangover? If you're pregnant, like every day you wake up feeling sick and shit. and say, You can be allergic that. to it, can't you? Yeah. I think for most pregnancies, it's like first three months is a bit rough with sickness and stuff. Then you get the middle trimester, the second one where everyone's golden. You What's the in. sex one? Th- the middle. And then third is uncomfortable and that's when it's business but time. But that's when you're meant to smash the, the back doors off the mountain, yeah? <laughs> is it? To like get it women get off. horny in the third trimester and if you fuck them, then they have the baby sooner. He's getting a friends. Is that from friends? Yeah. No, no, but it is too. Is it, it is in friends, but it's also true. Like, I haven't, like, fucking can, can get the baby out quicker. And I think it's because the baby sees the dick coming in and they're like, <laughs> I'm out of here, mate. Touching that. Whoa. Whoa. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's meeting its creator, isn't it? It's like meeting God. <laughs> God's just a big cock. <laughs> he probably is, isn't he? I'll finish this Guinness. I'll be out in a sec. <laughs> it's just piss. Um, right, we got. Yeah. We do. Yeah, keep going. I like these. We got a couple more of these. I like these. This is from Daniel Chapman. When I was younger, my dad bought me a pair of binoculars and said to me, don't look at the sun with them or it will bring the sun closer. <laughs> I guess to stop burning my eyeballs out. Obviously, I did it later that day. And then the following day, the news was banging on about global warming and the planet and how the planet is dying. So then I thought it was my fault for years. That sounds like you, Finn. Did you write that one? I didn't. I didn't, but it does sound like me. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Don't, uh, look at, don't look at the sun, especially not with a, a magnifying glass <laughs> on each eye. <laughs> when was the last time you looked through binoculars? It's such a fucking... Oh, I used to have some of my nans. I used to love them. I my granddad had some, yeah. Unbel- for no reason, mm. in the back bedroom, he had binoculars. <laughs> you think back? What was he doing with them? <laughs> 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 Do you want to use these? Why? To see the back of your garden better? No, it looked oh, out yeah. onto the altar like a field, so he wasn't like perving, but why were they there? Why do all people love binoculars? They do, don't they? My granddad had two pairs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> one in in the bed, one in the bedroom, and one in the living room. What would he? Who the oh, granddad's all fucking pervs. Well, I, my granddad had is to go down to Blackpool Airport and look at the planes. That's what he said. Which at the time was the most fun. I mean, if and you're going all are... the way to the airport, you don't need the binoculars. <laughs> Just stand closer. <laughs> planes there. <laughs> no, Ooh, look at that. It's Twenty yards away, granddad. I know. Lovely. Because well, you, you, you you need to check the Just get a short the, the, the registration plate. What for? You have to write them oh, down. I was to say I've seen Use it. Use a plane spotter. Registration plate. They're, like the number on the, the side. The little number on the side. They've got like a reg, haven't they, on the side. So he'd get his binoculars out and he'd be like, KX9273. And he'd be like, all right, granddad, we've got that. Do you Where's this going? Is this important? He was like, yeah, it's important. Will this be put in a drawer and forgotten forever? Yeah, it will. But Do you right now. ever seen the same pigeon twice? Yeah. <laughs> Do, you re- Do you reckon you've ever seen the same pigeon twice? Yeah. It's easy yeah. as well. Look at one. <laughs> Three times. He's gone. Fast little cunt. I mean, on different days. Um, uh, You'd never know, Carl, would you? No. It's the pertinent question. Though. I've definitely seen the same seagull twice. Go on. Just because there's a seagull that just, like, essentially lives on our wall. As you know, it's not like a load of seagulls doing shifts. <laughs> <laughs> like guards. No, because the, they, there's one, like, every year. There's just, like, the wall seagull every year. It's just the one that just sticks around. Real and well. one year he had a dodgy leg. So that one was definitely the same because he had a gammy leg. Why are they on your wall? I'm not sure. Is it? I think it's. Do you think the animals know that you're a natural paedophile hunter and you need to be protected? So my nan lived in our house before we did. We swapped houses when we were like six. But Buffetta? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. British right. nan. And she used to feed all the, all the uh, seagulls and stuff. So I think it's just. Like uh, evolution, they've just gone. Someone feeds us here. The seagull people made a promise to your grandma years ago to yeah, protect yeah. her family. Still feed them? Uh, no, my mum does occasionally. I get annoyed about. What it, would you feed them? Bread. You get annoyed about it? Yeah, because it <laughs> attracts seagulls, and then my car's covered in seagull shit. <gasps> One massive dirty seagull shit on Laura's car. I swear to God, we couldn't get it off for fucking ages. It was horrible. I'd shoot a pigeon's head off. Soon as... I, I, you I'd just do it. that for fun. Yeah. Would that be bad? Is that illegal to... to Kill an shoot? animal in the, in the public, yeah. In the public? Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad, is it? They're all protected by the king, aren't they? Am I getting a pass for that? Seagulls, no. Pigeons, no. you can blow that. They're flying rats, aren't they? Oh, I do the other way around. I like a pigeon. Oh, seagulls are Seagulls are annoying. You look a bit like a pigeon, don't you? Me? <laughs> or him? But you look like Richarlison a little yeah. bit. A little, yeah. Like a pigeon. A little pigeony. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. Oh, I won't. Don't worry. Go on, Thank next. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think you wear them. This all due respect, <laughs> you little Richarlison pigeon. I don't think you wear them. You said you look like a pigeon. Oh, is that what you said? Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not <a> fan. <laughs> you know it's, it, What about if he said you look like a seagull? Oh, that's oh, don't say that. Are, oh you do ass. look a bit bird like though. You know what I mean? Bird. I don't. You're a bit beaky. <laughs> beaky. You're saying you got a big nose. Are you just saying I've got a big nose. No, but it isn't a big nose, it's just a beaky nose. You look a bit ornithology. Yes. Like Dan looks like a cartoon mouse, doesn't he? Yeah, like Danger Mouse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Looks like Danger Mouse. And I so You're a bit you're a bit beaky as well. You look a bit like like a 
you're a, you're a more like regal bird, like a hawk or something. Oh yeah, thank you, Adam. So he's yeah. a posh bird, and I'm the fucking scum of the he's earth. He's not. Bird. He's not posh. He's like dangerous. Yeah, you know smoke I mean? you. Looks like a bad guy. Yeah, he looks like a ming. He's got kest- <laughs> kestrel vibes. Kestrel vibes. Like something. Kestrels aren't bad guys. No, yeah, you're, he's like are. a like a raven or a hawk or oh, something, yeah. and you're his little pigeon, mate. Sounds so gay. My best friend's a raven or a hawk. <laughs> you're a pigeon. He'd eat you. <laughs> We've got one more of these. <laughs> I've saved the best one till last. I think this have one's you? from Mamaya. Are you following that? Yeah. You pigeon fuck. <laughs> Until I was a teenager, I believed that all the letters my parents received from Milton Keynes were for, from some male friend I'd never met. I wondered why <laughs> I'd never met or even heard of him and had convinced myself they were in some sort of dodgy trouble. Milton Keynes? There's yeah. a bloke called Milton Keynes. Yeah. What were the, why is he getting so many letters from Milton Keynes? Maybe they were in trouble. And who's writing on their letters where they're sending it from? Oh, it's on the, on the, it's on the return stamp, address. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought it was on the... Like, either. Shows you know how much I look, know about mail. Also, the top line says the name. What? The top line of a town just says the name, usually, doesn't it? Yeah, but it could be a company that just says Milton Keynes. Oh, right. Hang on. The stamp on a thing says where it's been stamped, doesn't it? I thought, back if in the day. If they stamp them, sometimes they don't stamp them, oh, do you? things have gone And down. then people reuse the stamps. My nan used to do that. <gasps> hey, I saw Big Charles on his on his uh, first stamp with the king on. Didn't like You're it. I haven't seen many more. Have you seen his 50 mil to change his logo? What? He's changed the logo. Let's get Alex Cowley, mate. He's cheaper than that. I know. Do you know the crown logo? Yeah. He's changed the shape of the top of the crown, and apparently it's going to cost us 50 mil. Yeah. It's important, gonna, though, isn't it? It's not going to be long, though, is he? He's on his way out. He's got fucking bum all cancer, mate. He's going to foot and die like, and foot and Willie's going to take over, and someone's going to blow his head off, and then we're going to have King George, and he's going to be foot and nine years old. And that's the news. <laughs> <laughs> now then, ladies and gents, time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's NordVPN. You know what a VPN is now? I forget. You forget. But, just... that, but they're still your favourite sponsor. They're absolutely. A VPN is a way to upgrade your internet security whilst also giving you the ability to set your location to anywhere on God's green earth for your internet provider. And it means you can watch films on Netflix that aren't available on the British Netflix by setting it to uh, another country like Uganda or Mozambique or Tunisia or the States or Canada or Mexico. Wherever you fancy going on holiday, you don't have to get on a plane anymore. Just get NordVPN and off you pop. You can watch the... the Footy! Footy. Watch the footy when it's not broadcast on British channels. 100%. You can set it to another country where they are broadcasting it, sign up to a, 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 a streaming provider for it, and watch it there. And here's the thing if you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word, you're getting 72% off Oof. and four free months when you sign up for the two year plan. It's the best VPN in the game. It's the one I use, the one Carl uses, it's the one Dan will use when he eventually figures out what these things are. Dan, what's the website again? Uh, nordvpn.com slash have a have word, a word. 72 percent off and four free months with the two-year plan go and upgrade your internet security and go on a little web holiday to oh. t- turkmenistan <laughs> some of the best netflix <laughs> and we are back we are back and mark nelson's here with us he's one of our own. Own. he's one of our own that boy mark nelson <laughs> <laughs> he's all right have a word royalty mate um, have not. you been in this? Have you have you done an episode in here? Nah, we were talking about this just before we came on. Um, the only time I've been in this studio was when Will broke us in after the arena show, and you all got hammered. So in me here. and Kai came in. Mm-hmm. What did you have a like a fucking fur jacket on or something like a big pimp's type? Oh, that was mine. Was that yours? I was that defiled. No, no. Well, he was cutting about in it like fucking Huggy Bear, and. Um, <laughs> And then we all got photos sitting on each other's knees. Uh, and all the photos just, are on the wall. Up yeah, there. just drank a lot of the drink here. Yeah. Yeah. We've never really replenished it, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. keep an excellent larder, don't we? What do you call it when you keep a good bar? Yeah. But for the bar. amount of boozing <laughs> that we do... What do you call it do, when you keep a good bar? It's a good bar. Keep a good bar. We hardly ever drink it. I you know it's got one sh- of those globe things. Oh, I love them. You know, like a big Bond villain yeah. globe. He's got... You've yeah, you got, you got a globe. Oh, I thought I've, you had one in your old flat. No, do you not? I've got a drink oh. trolley, but I don't even drink at home. I had, a, I had a unit full of alcohol from Ikea, a Fiabolo. Oh, okay. um, but, uh, <laughs> you are a unit full of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. I, uh, I left about... By the way, your eyes look blind without them on. Do they? Bad? Yeah. 
Yeah, I know, yeah. But I'm trying to, I, I want people to be able to read me emotions. Um, <laughs> sad, sad. <laughs> Look, I had, I had a few pints last night. Is it a crime? <laughs> is it a crime? It isn't. To have fun with your friends? It isn't. But if you drive now, <laughs> it's a crime. Well, I didn't drive this morning. No, you're good, aren't you? I got an Uber this morning because I thought Fucking it might shocked. be dangerous. You were right. I think you were right. That instinct was good. <laughs> um, but I left about two thirds of my alcohol in the old flat. And the way I did it with the, the old building, I said to them, hey, what, what I actually meant was I, I can't be asked getting rid of all this stuff. I went, don't use a favor there. There's a load of ale I'm not taking with me. You just can have that. Yeah, and there's two rooms of shite as well. <laughs> but that's the cost of the ale. Yeah, there, there was though, there was shite. And also, there's a, one of the lads who works in the building, as I was leaving, was like, me mate's a big fan. It's his birthday next month, his name's Owen. Would you do a little video for him and say happy birthday? So I did it. Uh, in exchange for me meat that I left in the freezer. So, uh, I, cause I- Wait, I was holding these... your meat hostage? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what happened was- Just getting meat to hold I up forgot a me copy meat. of today's newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot me meat, right. And uh, it's expensive meat. <laughs> I get meat imported. <laughs> so as I was leaving, he's like, we do a video for me friend and I look like shit. So I was like, I'll do it when I'm like ready tomorrow in the house. When I got home, I was like, I'm- I'm fucked here, I've left me meat. So I messaged the lad back on Instagram and was like, hey, I'll do that video for your friend if you give me me meat. Did I've you have to do a meat meat? Yeah. <laughs> I had to go back and pick me meat up from the old building. Yeah. Um, what kind of meat did you get imported? Sugar pit bacon. <laughs> what, sorry, what? Sugar pit bacon. Oh my sugar pit bacon. Oi, stupid. It's not bacon. Yeah. <laughs> We've learned that. You think it is, you know, because the word bacon. Yeah. It's fucking not. It's basically like bone in gammon. Right, but it's it's got a sweetness to it because it's like cured in sugar. Where does it come from? Argentina, uh, Northern Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Imported from the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite <laughs> the business you've got going here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great, and I've got some uh, lamb from there that I haven't uh, I haven't used yet. But I used the sugar for bacon on Sundays. They're both sugar for lamb. Yeah. No, it's just. A is it Johnny? Solvent. Is it Johnny Bongo's butcher? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, butcher Farrell's better. No, he isn't. He is. Meet <laughs> Peter. Peter Hannon. Is the guy the no. meatmerchant.com hashtag not an ad? But your funnel, get on the Instagram as well, better. But, do you know? Do you know what happened? Just very quickly, when we were talking about drinks, we've got like this kind of antique thing that my wife bought to keep drinks in. I don't really drink spirits that much. Mm -hmm. I just drink beer most of the time. So we've got all these spirits, and we'd lost a key for it in our house move, and we're trying to get in it because I was trying to get some vodka for something, and um, <laughs> we couldn't we couldn't get in right cooking and <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> The school, the school run. Uh, uh, um, we were, we we're kind of discussing this, uh, me and Amy, and my son Seamus came in and went, I'll open that for you. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? He went to the kitchen drawer and got a butter knife and just jimmied it open. Just watching an eight year old eight? Scottish child jimmy open a drinks container. How did he know? I've never felt as proud in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Now go and get us a BMW 5 series. <laughs> Good lad. Um, but the lad I did the video for, mm -hmm. he didn't send me a thank you saying, oh, nice one for the video. He just sent me a DM on Instagram last week and it was just a photo from a photo booth in Teddy's of me, Alfie Brown and Garrett Miller fucking hammered. So when they've been clearing out my flat, they have found that like photo and they've given it to this kid, <laughs> which is actually illegal. So I'm suing. Is it illegal? Mm. It's my property and it's a picture of me. I would just be giving pictures of me to people. I'd get bet that guy's shitting, innit? This is the guy who couldn't empty a drinks cabinet or two rooms of shit. I don't think you're getting sued, mate. I don't think he's going to do the admin. What are you for? <laughs> Murder. What are you even for? <laughs> I gave somebody a picture. I don't know if you've heard of photo booths. But... <laughs> But yeah, I uh, I get me meat from abroad. I don't like uh, I, when Johnny Bongo did the podcast for the first time. He brought me some meat, and it was uh, life changing, Mark. So I uh, I don't know if you can call that abroad though. No, it isn't abroad. Why? Because it's know, abroad's got to be. I think abroad is anywhere you have to get on a plane. If you get, you don't have to get on a plane. You don't, aye. So you do. Technically, don't. you don't have to get on a plane anywhere. That's there. You go. You do. You, you don't. don't. No, Fiji. No. What? Boat? All, it, all this crocodiles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Fiji crocodiles. Great team. Yeah. Um, right, so you ship in your 
I'm sure there's someone around here. Doing I say good I ship stuff. it in. It's not. It's a semi-regular thing because this was in my freezer for so long that I forgot about it and it goes out of date this month. You know when you say you ship it in, <laughs> you just order it online. He's yeah. bought it twice. Wow. You're not going down meeting them on the docks and they're like, <laughs> "Here's half a kilogram of cocaine." Is two shooters cocaine. and there's your sugar pit maker. <laughs> cocaine. 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 cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. That's how they don't get caught. Busy, you fucking busy. That's cocaine. how they don't get caught. I'm not importing cocaine. I'm I'm importing cocaine. Okay, officer. I'm really getting into me cooking, you know. Dan, what, is what, for that. We knew that three years ago. Oh, no, me cooking and me fashion. Oh, it's gone. It's gone isn't it? We've replaced it. That is a bastard of a kit, by the way, Mark Nelson. I want <laughs> to say you. that as a Scottish person. Thanks, man. As a, not a Scottish person, officer. A bastard in the positive. Absolute beauty of a. Uh, that is a classic fucking kit. Yeah. Is that Adidas doing its finest work? Yeah. We've not won it. I don't think we've won in it yet. <laughs> well, don't. It's not for winning, it's not is it? There's got to be quite a few Scotland kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't surely hit the majority. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can blame that shit. <laughs> You've been good though recently. It's just for the memorial fucking centenary. Yeah, we, we created this for the England game. And uh, I was well up, well up for the England game. And then Jude Bellingham Hamden. decided Jude he Bellingham was well up for it as decided well. Decided he was the best player in the world <laughs> that night. Uh, that, that was fucking amazing because it's the first time, because I take my wee boy and my wee girl to every single Scotland game. That was the first time they've experienced like an actual rivalry oh, right. kind of thing. So there was like a mental English guy had got off a bus and was had just been drinking for like fucking 9 a.m. and just yelling at Scottish fans. And my wee girl was horrified. And my wee boy was like, you, you know, you, you, you could sense that kind of thing like, get me a butter knife. If, if, the, if this <laughs> kicks off, I'm fucking in on this. But uh, yeah. <laughs> So 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 you've literally because I mean I follow you online and then you post it. It's it's great as a dad. Mm. I respect it because your kid's a bit older than mine. Yeah, and you've been going to the games and it's a big deal. They're into it, but you've been seeing like Estonia in a group phase and mm. then fucking Norway or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, all yeah, of yeah. a sudden, it's the. Oh old... no, I've been taking them to the the, the real shite games. Um, because take it, them it, home and away. Uh, no, no, we've not been away. I've been away, but I've not yeah. taken them away. But me and me and my wee boy Seamus, we're going to Germany together uh, for the Euros. But be uh, oh, it'll be great fun. Uh, but there's a fucking like you won't you won't get it with England. But there's like a there's a group of people that have jumped on a bandwagon with Scotland in the past year and a half. And they <laughs> piss me off beyond belief. Oh, really? There's a huge amount of comics that have just jumped on. Where you go, when was the last game you went to? And they've been a game in my life. How come you're starting up a fucking podcast about the Euros then? Oh. Oh, yeah. Shade thrown. Oh, Where yeah. were you for Estonia in the group phase? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, so it's sort of like got cool again because they're basically winning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like anything when you get, you start getting success. Where did you do the around. away day? Where was the, because that, that's I one was... thing I've never done and I'd love to do, not with England, full stop. I'd love to do a fucking away trip. I did. Pa I did Paris when McFadden scored. Oh, what I was player. at that game. Nice. Yeah, that was the best. Have you done aways? Have you done Liverpool aways for Europe and stuff? I mean, not uh, not the UK. The only aways. European away I've done is Villarreal. Me and Finn went semi-finals. Oh yeah, that and you were in great. a fucking plastic box in the sky. Yeah, and he had a pint of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most pissed I've ever been in. My oh, it was life. so funny. You know, because in Europe there's no measures. Yeah, yeah. So we, we walk into this bar. We've told the story before, but walk into this bar right next to the Villarreal's ground, and there was very little segregation, but everyone was just great. And uh, we walk in, and I go, "I'll have a pint, please." And he goes, oh, I don't really like lager, and I'll be pissed. Just get us like a vodka Diet Coke. And she gets the bottle. And I'm not joking. She fills it to about there. And then the rest is Diet Coke. And I nail me pint in about three minutes and go to him, do you want another one? And he goes, I can't drink again for the rest of the day. <laughs> He's like, this is me done. And I, I just hadn't really considered. He had about 400 mils of vodka. I love it. that she was like, good, luckily, this is Diet Coke. Yeah. So it's good for him. I was embarrassing myself to Redman TV. I was going, I've watched you since I was nine years old. And I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> first it was sick. Um, yeah, it was a yeah. class. It was such a good game as well. I did the same when I met the Teletubbies for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you started watching them. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but you've got to go to Teletubbies versus Villarreal away, haven't you? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. once they get going. A couple of, in, the in their title race a couple of years ago, this uh, came up on my memories. Wingy. Came up on my memories, but uh, we, we arranged a, a patron special on the day I was supposed to be in Oxford mm. for a, a tour show. And it, Oxford hadn't sold brilliantly. It was the one day I saw that was struggling. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> so I, I postponed it because I was like, right, it's the only day everyone else can do a special. So we'll postpone Oxford by a month. And uh, everyone got their money back or like moved, moved the tickets. <laughs> and we exactly did the Patreon it. special. <laughs> and we were done by like one o'clock in the afternoon. And I was like, right, Sam. And Liverpool played Villa away. And on my way back, and my mate texted me and was like, I've got a ticket there for you for Villa away tonight. Do you, do you want it? He's like, I'm, the coach is leaving um, from the Baltic Market, which is a five minute walk from where I lived at the time, in like half an hour. Do, do you want to go? But you're going to have to be here in half an hour. And I was like, fuck it, I'll go. Yeah. I was like, it doesn't matter, does it? But on the front row, and it's Liverpool Villa in a title race, and it, it was on Sky Sports. And I, <laughs> so it, as we score, it pans, and I'm just going off me. I'm stood on the fucking advertising board, going fucking mental. And there's people from Oxford going, "When Adam cancelled due to filming commitments, was it Sky Sports he was talking about? Because it looked like I'd just gone Liverpool in a title race. Fuck the Lions. I'm not doing Oxford. I'm going Villa away. It's people uh, in Oxford just throwing their oars down. This is fucking disgrace. <laughs> Oh, everybody, you were like front and centre. It's like Sky yeah. picked you out. I was in the middle of the yeah. telly. It wasn't yeah. like, is that Adam in the corner? Yeah. It was me and the rest. <laughs> like, I'm in the middle of the, whole, of the front row of the entire Liverpool and with me foot, like, on the avatar. <laughs> Fucking get <laughs> Busted. You'll never play Oxford again. See you in a month. Where's oh. the one you want to go? Where's the where's the uh, where's the away day that you'd pick? Dortmund. If you could do any any, yeah, that'd be good. Dortmund uh, away in a European game. I'd quite like. I'd like to do. I'd, I'd like to play Holland and Amsterdam. Actually, oh, I'd like to go away to that. The Croy. <clears throat> um, That's why you don't want to be there, Finn. But Cruyff. then it's great because we've already it's started good. talking uh, about because the fact that the next World Cup is in America, Canada, and Mexico. Yeah. And you start going, ho, ho, ho. The final's in New Jersey. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, we're going. Oh. At the New York, New Jersey Stadium. Yeah. Because they can't do the actual names. Oh, yes. Because they're all, all sponsored. All the brands off, yeah. Yeah. So AT&T or whatever, so not allowed. Yeah. So that's now the Dallas Stadium. Yeah. But that would be class. We, Imagine. like We would, have had similar conversations. I'd have loved to have Vegas. The, the Super Bowl in Vegas, that would have been... That there can't yeah. be much better. Now that I've been style. to Vegas, I'd rather go anywhere else. Vegas, I just found was a bit poo. Well, what? I just didn't so love it. It's got really good reports for a Super Bowl. Yeah, can imagine if because stadium like is close to downtown. Yeah. Every all of the people who do podcasts that I listen to, the reports have come in. Like they did San Francisco a few years ago, and it's Santa Clara, I think, which is two hours from where all the media commitments were in traffic. That it take it was just a fuck around in Vegas, apparently. People were walking like 10, 15 minutes and they were at the next thing. So it's gone down very well. Plus Vegas, I think $185 million was bet on the Super Bowl. In, on the Super Bowl. <laughs> How big is that? The Super Bowl. Bang. <laughs> Come down and shoot that. He can't miss it. $185 million in one night. So they loved it, obviously. They've had everything though, haven't they? They've had the Formula One. Yeah. Why do you like Vegas? I just felt like maybe we did it wrong, you know? No, I think it's just overrated. If you want to go, you did it for Schlosser's stag, dude, didn't you? Yeah, and yeah was it good. I, it was like the best week of my life. Like, yeah, but there was life, loads like... of years there, wasn't there, with loads yeah. of money to waste. We went to watch the UFC. We didn't go to gamble. We went for an event that wasn't really ah, taken over. But there. how long were you there for, though? Four days, five days. Yeah. yeah. See, that's a fucking good amount of time to. There's nothing to Ex do. The number one thing that's listed to do is go to the Grand Canyon, which is a four-hour <laughs> drive. <laughs> what do you mean? There's nothing to do. There's what nothing, name? Fucking name shit. three things to do. I, I went to see the Beatles love no, show. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. The Beatles. I didn't see the Beatles. Oh. I didn't. <laughs> we live in Liverpool. We're not flying to fucking Vegas to go see a Beatles tribute. <laughs> it's not a tribute. It's a fucking Cirque du Soleil show. The, the Beatles Cirque du Soleil. I've got yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah, if, if we'd have seen that, we'd have gone. <laughs> And also, I've just realised Finn has found a new fucking utopia that he yeah. wants to make it to. Honest to God, you, you, like, I, I lost my shit. It was it the very last great. night we were there. We saw David Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> Two stars, apparently. But, let's, like, so you didn't gamble. We did. We did. Right, so 
my system sort of I realised now quickly. <laughs> for number two I was going to go Hooters <laughs> uh, <so> <laughs> <laughs> there's not more than three things to do and the Beatles circus isn't one of them <laughs> it's not a circus it's not like there's, you don't have a fucking George Harrison doesn't ride a fucking elephant it's not a that'd be great that, that sounds, would be that good <laughs> weekend at Bernie George Harrison but uh, no <laughs> it's have you ever seen Cirque du Soleil uh, no, I I'd never it, seen it at all. It's just a big circus. It, it was nothing. That I, I, it was nothing that I was into. But then I went. I went with Milo, uh, and Brett Vincent and Barry Castagnola. Oh, and we took correct. mushrooms before we went to it. Yeah, but that's the mushrooms, and it. you could have done that in fucking Blackpool, and it would have been great. You did drugs and went well, to circus. Well, number three <laughs> thing. That's the third thing you Why can you do. They just take drugs. Why are you saying that in a like? You should get anyway. That's not Vegas. Oh, God, mate. Don't say take drugs and go to cir the circus and it's shit. That's fucking quality. That's not Vegas. Yeah. You, can't, you can't do that in Rotherham, can you? Why? Can Why not? What? what? It's not going to be fucking Cirque du Soleil. Go to the Cirque du Soleil in London then. Right. Vegas is overrated. Fun. You haven't but, named three things and it's like, you can do that. I've named three. No, the circus isn't one. He just mushrooms isn't one either. So, mushrooms is one. <laughs> Gambling. Hooters, I had that. Yeah, there's one in town. Gambling. There is, um, is the one, the big yeah. one. Yeah. The big hoo. There's a big hooters there's in there's town. There is a hooters. Oh, I thought you said whores. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said hoors. Hoors. <laughs> right. I, said I was like, my mark's definitely married. Right. <laughs> number God, he's, she's very relaxed. Number four, whores. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's why you said when you went, oh, there's a big one in town. I was like, I haven't heard about the big whore. <laughs> Big Stacey in the middle of town. I <laughs> fucking wrongness. But you're struggling to sell Vegas unless you the want to gamble. Ball, the big ball thing so now. Yeah, that's eight hundred pounds to get in. To see you too. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't, no, you didn't specify money. It, it, there's, all you can do is gamble and eat and drink. And why? That sounds fucking class. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do in other Wait, cities, Carl? No, but there's not... to, go to another city break. What you? What you give do? Me one, give me one. Like, say you went to fucking Madrid. Yeah. Yeah. What Spanish else? food. What else? Straight away. Great. So, so f food. Yeah. But there's culture. a bit of culture there, isn't there? What's Vegas is only gambling. He hates culture. He hates walking around looking at buildings. No, I fucking don't. You've said it on here. No, I well, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just a city break. And I was with... like, Vegas, wow, life changing. I got to go to the casino. <laughs> there's casinos everywhere. But it's the one big whore. <laughs> like, <laughs> Vegas is great, but it's not the place people make out to be, is what I'm saying. I'd rather go to... Nashville's uh, so much better than Vegas. I, I, oh, no, I, I, I imagine it is. It's so much better. And it's I booked to go back to Nashville when we were in Vegas because I was sad about how shit Vegas <laughs> was. <laughs> I think... But the hotel we stayed in... Go on. ...was designed to look like King Arthur's castle. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get that in Madrid. <laughs> Are you realising it's all right? The fucking roller coaster that goes through New York, New York. Alton Towers? No, but there's no other roller coaster that no, goes you, through Carl, a city at when night. When he's listing the good I stuff, know. you can't just list all the places yeah. you can do that. I know, but I'm saying it's overrated. That's it is, yeah. yeah. It probably is overrated, Yeah, but it's still class. Yeah, it's I think that, that being the best week of your life, that, that was nothing to do with being in Vegas. It was the people you were with and what you were there for. Yeah, fact. Yeah, it's right, right, took right, you all very, to very fucking, probably. Yeah. like, Sterling. Listen, if, if, <laughs> if I'd had to pay for it, it wouldn't have been the best week of my life. <laughs> Holy shit, was it? Was it Sloss covered? Paid, Sloss, I, Sloss basically paid for... He didn't pay for everything. No, he, he, he got paid, everyone he there. He paid though. for a lot. Yeah. Wow. Which was... Those Netflix stag Very dudes. kind. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's, I've been to better places. New York's better. I'd probably agree with that, yeah. Nashville's better. Like, I've already been to two, two places in America. That's better. I'm going back to both of them this year as well. And I think I decided yesterday that I'm going to go to Chicago and Texas in August. I thought you were doing the, the Edinburgh Festival. festival. I've decided I might go to America instead. We're also oh, not cool. doing anything else with the podcast then. Podcast finished. Oh, get used to seeing Ishan here. Because <laughs> he's going to be. Um, that's fair enough. You've got to live your life, man. Live your life. We free. do gigs. We do gigs there. Or you just visit. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Luke Combs is playing in Texas and I haven't <sighs> seen him for a few months. So uh, Has he changed his setup much? Yeah. Has he? He's touring his last two albums now. That's the new tour. We haven't seen that. He's no. just added another hour to the tour. He did two hours, now he's doing three. I honestly, he, he, he do you did, know what? It's not even a joke, it probably is. He did more than two hours. No, ah, I think he did no, two hours. It was because we got there at oh, it was the other guys, four o'clock. We got there at four in the afternoon. 
and watched everyone. <laughs> he, he did like a greatest hits, that's all. That was just his back catalogue, and he did maybe like two or three songs off his newest albums, but he's now touring his last two albums as one show. We did, we did Adam's Nebworth. Yeah. We did Oh, that. yeah. Yeah. Country music proper. Yeah. Are you into it? I do like it. Yeah. Do you know... He'll be into it if you pay for him to go to America <laughs> yeah. and pay for his ticket. Well, I did be that for all it. of you. I'll be in it. I, I took all of you. With our company? With our company. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. <laughs> what a lovely <laughs> gift. If you pay for me to do anything, I'll be well into it. <laughs> like, you know those hostels they have in Serbia where they kill people? I want to yeah. go to you Serbia. You pay for me to go to that, I'll be... I'll buy a t-shirt. <laughs> Is there one? Because we're running out of Patreon special ideas. Is it what? I'd Is love it... to go to Serbia. Serbia is pretty cool. Yeah, it seems sick. What? What's sick about it? it just seems like like it's so just... different. To Is there Hooters? One big whore. Mm. Gambling. <laughs> Alton Towers. It just seems like cold and fun. <laughs> just seems different, doesn't it? Right. I like different. I really love the fact that you thought I just said one big whore. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? The fact that I took mushrooms I before it. Kept just me, Milo, and Barry hanging off this one big whore like Drugs, fucking the Godzilla. Circus and hers. <laughs> <laughs> can I get that in Motherwell? <laughs> fact. You can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. In you one house. You can. <laughs> <laughs> At the bus stop, you can get <laughs> It might not be safe the Soleil, but it'd be a knockoff version, right? <laughs> What's the thing? And the drugs and whores would be fucking well better. What's your favourite place you've ever been? Is Vegas the favourite place? Your, your number one place? Nah, it probably is New York, actually. Yeah. Or Magaluf. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, like, the, what's, what's the favourite place you've ever visited? Like, where's your, like, I'll go there. I'll go there every year for the rest of my life. Uh, I, I have to admit, Nashville was pretty fucking incredible. Um, cities that I've loved the most. I'm so gutted we didn't move there, you know, because we were so close. We really, like, in a moment, we were quite close, weren't we? No. While we were out there, we were thinking about it. I was you, thinking about it. I was talking it. all of you into it. You just kept saying it. That's, yeah. the, that's a different the thing. Yeah. But then you did ask Laura, and she said, I just don't want my kids to get the red blown off. <laughs> if She's you didn't stupid, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we were there eight days after a school shooting. Um, but that is what she said, isn't it? She was like, I would, but I don't want to put them in the line of fire. No, she wouldn't. <laughs> uh, we had a serious chat about moving to Dublin, <laughs> and she poo pooed it. Wow. Good. Good laws. When? What? Well, as soon as you don't want to, uh, to do this podcast anymore, I was like, as soon as Carl is emotionally done with Have a Word. Okay, 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not moving anywhere. But truly, America's amazing. Would the gun thing not do your head in a bit? I've moved to New like, York. Like, at, at, at the Chiefs uh, parade, someone, they just got in a fight. It's just a fucking, are you looking at me? Are you looking at my bird? And they started shooting. And I know it's a specific instance, that's like just magnified because of the scale of like how how big the event was. But this is happening all over the gaff. Maybe not in every part of America, but it would do my head in that. It would worry me. Do you reckon all that you're just going to meet some psycho? And then the people on the right go, we haven't got a gun problem. We've got a mental health problem. Oh you're God, like, that's yeah. not a mental health problem. That's a fucking chav problem. That's aggro, aggy cunts, a bit pissed, starting a fight and having guns on them. Like, and that would happen over here if we all had guns. People are like, well, oh, British people are different with guns. We just don't have them. Like, we think we're better than them. They're like crazy, aren't they? But I've seen knobheads out on the street pissed. Like, if they had a gun on them, that's where it would end up. It would play on my mind a bit. As much as I think America's amazing, I love the culture and I love the uh, sport. And I, there's so much about it I love. Nashville was amazing. I think that might stop me wanting to live there. No? Would you own a gun if you lived there? Yeah, 17, just for the vols. <laughs> <laughs> the big valve, the super valve. Yeah. If he comes for you, you know, um, I, well, I, you'd have to own a gun, wouldn't you? It's the, that's why everyone else has a gun because everyone else has got guns. Because if the king of England comes, yeah. nothing, you need to protect your house. I didn't understand it till we spoke to that guy at the gun range, and then I was kind of like, yeah, I kind of understand. Of course, I don't think... there's fucking guns yeah, yeah. everywhere, and they're like, hang on, if someone now that's the only thing, if someone comes in your house, what are you allowed to do with him? And we all stood there like, um. You shoot, you basically have reasonable force. You could hit them, but if they turn away, you can't hit them again. <laughs> and he looked at us like, you're fucking stupid. And you're like, yeah, it is. Because if someone comes in your house and you've got kids upstairs, you should be allowed to blow their head off. I, so, I sort of do believe that. Like, what are you doing in here? And and they've gone so far down the line where, well, if you've got a gun and you're trying to get in my house, I'm going to kill you. Blow their head off. The, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The thing with Americans is, of, like, that gets cited, oh, well, they've, you know, they want to be able to form a militia 
against the government. So that's why they want guns. That's one of the old things, isn't it? Going back, but you're like the government have nuclear a, weapons, a lot more firepower. Like we've seen it happen in wars. They've got drones, so. I don't think if the they US government turn on, on, them, on yeah. their military, you're, you're fucking gone in the safe isn't protecting you. Have them. you got surface to air missiles? Cause exactly. Do you not think you should be allowed to blow something's head off? If no. someone broke into your house and said, you were at the top of the stairs and you're like, what are you doing here? And he was like, I'm coming up to fucking rape your missus and I'm going to kill her. You don't think you should be allowed to be like, kill her? Yeah. <laughs> no. This guy really, he's a Ron Seal burglar. <laughs> <laughs> he just... He, he, hasn't, he hasn't came up yet. I'm going to come up there. Do you know, hey, lad, I am so confident. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm here for. As if Carl go, hey, have you broken in? Yeah. What are you here for? Well, let me tell you. Because yeah. I tell you what, I am a rapist yeah. and a murderer, but I'm not a liar. Yeah. No, I would. My... Takes out a list. <laughs> Wait till I check my notes. Hang on. What address is this? <laughs> well, we the my Spanish first, quarter. My yeah. first move would be to barricade the bedroom and protect us not to just go and murder someone i i, I just i wouldn't be like but he won't get me gone and blow his head off barricade the bedroom yeah you push the wardrobe in front of the bed in front of the door or the bed they can't get in you can right. how push it off what do you mean push it off how how fast are you moving wardrobes this guy's <laughs> this, how yeah. long how long are your stairs you're on he's the downstairs shouting up that he's coming up. I've got you're loads on, you're of on the stairs. stairs. You're on the stairs. Well, this is a rampant rapist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's already getting... got his dick out. Where's yeah. your gun? Under your pillow. No, you've, you've, you've heard someone break in. You've picked your shotgun up. Oh, off yeah. The floor. You always get the shotgun. And, and you go, you just go down and blow his head What are you here for, lad? <laughs> what are you here for? I mean, what do you mean? You, what, you, what, you if he go, what if he goes? <laughs> what if he says? I don't know. <laughs> What? I goes, don't know. Yeah. You know, get out. This is my house. And he goes, no, I'm not getting out. I'll blow your head off. <laughs> so he goes, I'll blow your head off. Get out or I'll blow your head off. You've got three, two, one. Fuck, gone. Oh, he does a countdown. Like, a, <laughs> like an angry mum. One, I count to three. I'm going to shoot yeah. you in the head. Two, two and a half. If you're in, you're two in. Two and three quarters. If you're out, you're out. That what? bloody door. How mental would that be? Have you broken into my house? <laughs> yeah. What are you here for? Don't know. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to barricade my bedroom. Please I'm don't steal me sandwiches. Sorry, if someone breaks into your house, you go, why are you here? You would ask that question. In why a, are you here? In America, if they go, uh, obviously you've just got to check it's not Serica coming back. <laughs> You go, you I, I you will can't. shoot anything I see. Oscar Fucking Pistorius. girls' night out. <laughs> but you, you, you've you, just got to assume that they're there for, you know, what? Well, you've got to ask because you can't, like, blow someone's head off and then realise he's holding a fucking postcode lottery for him. Like, it's just... <laughs> 2 a.m., the postcode lottery of coming. <laughs> no one really understands what the postcode lottery is. They might break in at 3 a.m. Also, you've, won. Fuck off. you've got to ask. He's come to rape and murder... What, if, like, what do you mean? What, ask. What are you here to do? Uh, uh, no, not rape and murder. Are you sure? <laughs> no, definitely not rape and murder. Okay, then I'm about to okay so you haven't asked. You've gone, lad, get out of me fucking house. And he's gone, I'm going to fucking kill you in your bed. I'm going to rape her dead body. Whew. I would protect. Yeah, he's a bad person. Yeah, I'd get out person. the window. I've got bottom opening windows in the bedroom. I'd get out. I'd leave. I wouldn't go. I'm going to murder him. I would. If I had a gun, I'd blow his head off. Right, I cool. wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be in the. Where's bedroom Wallace? Blue. Where's Wallace? Because he's, he's a dog bummer as well. He's in the bedroom. He's with come us. to bum dogs. <laughs> I blow his head off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew I'd him. No, I would pick Wallace up and escape with him. I wouldn't be like, I've got to murder him because I don't want to be a murderer. Sorry, you're I don't not want... a murderer, are you? Yeah, you've blew no. someone's head off. Yeah, but you're, you're still going to jail. So? Still oh. going to jail. How high are your windows? Yes, you are. No, but in no. A uh, I've recently got bottom openers put in for the extension, so we'll be able to escape. Fuck his windows. Nice. How much of a jump is it? There. Bottom for there's me. A roof, there's a little uh, roof on right. both. Yeah. What if he's got accomplices with a big net? <laughs> oh, yeah. I got the back. Oh, nice. Carl, in America, you're not going to jail. No. That's yep. the thing. If you come in, break in like that, and you get shot, no one's going to jail. Okay, in this country then? We're, um, we're talking about this country. No, we're no, not. No, we're not. We're no, we're talking about so we living in America. I, I, I just wouldn't blow anyone's head off. I'm, I'm, am I the only one here who wouldn't blow someone's head off? But what, you, if that, what if the options are, though? Blow his head off. I wouldn't blow his head off. I'd shoot him in the legs. Why are you blowing his head off? Because I don't want him to fucking crawl up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shoot him in the leg. Shoot him in the knee. What the arm. Uh, he, look, I'm going to blow your leg clean off. He's, can, on, he's on crystal meth. You can stop him. You don't have to kill him. Nah. Why are you shooting to kill of course, because he's in your fucking gaff. Madness. He's it all insane. He's it all murder someone. Just a big vol. If it's me or him, it's not you or him. Just debilitate him. Shoot him in the legs. Carl, it's not you or him. He just it, said it is. Of course, of course it's you or him. He's broken in. You've got all the kids. You've got nine kids. 
because it's the you know. He's coming up the stairs, but like no. go away. <laughs> that might be the police if he's hoarding children. <laughs> yeah. What are you here for? Where's the police? I'm blowing it up. And he's got a gun as well. He's got a gun as well. And he's up the stairs. He's like, what are the rules of this gun battle? Is it just legs and arms? One. <laughs> Number one. Now you turn away. <laughs> now he's coming up the stairs. I've got me going to go, lad, what do you want? And he's not saying nothing. He's trying to kill you. I'd shoot his legs. Right. And then he keeps crawling. Who is he? The fucking Terminator? <laughs> <laughs> I'd shoot him in the arms then. You right. don't have a duel. Yeah. I wouldn't blow his... I mean, good shot on everyone to blow someone's head off down the stairs. If you blew his legs off, you he might keep... He'd die anyway. He'd bleed out, yeah, maybe. But, and you just left him dying painfully. I'm, I'm being, like, nice. Blow his head off, quick and painless. Humane. <laughs> sorry, got, sorry, I Mark. do not believe that's all. We've just had a patron-exclusive level argument with a guest. In. <laughs> like, we've basically no, done what I'm, we do. Who do you, who do you agree with? I, I would I would blow his head off. <laughs> You're just a maggot, you. Yeah. Not, but, I don't want to blow how, someone's head off. No, I don't but want how to good kill someone. would it feel? <laughs> kill a human. <laughs> Mark, where you live, say there's someone broken, <laughs> say the laws are in the UK now. <coughs> yeah. And obviously, you've got kids, so you've got something to protect. Someone's coming up the stairs. You would shoot him in the head. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> would shoot shoot him, in him in the head. I'd, uh, you wouldn't shoot to, like, debilitate nah, him, no? Double tap to the head, one to the heart, just to make sure. <laughs> With a shotgun. Proper good fellas, <laughs> real. <laughs> tap, tap. Uh, I, I think when it all comes down to it, you wouldn't want to shoot someone in the head. I'd happily, I, I'd love to. If I lived in America, I'd wake Etta, tell her to get her gun, <laughs> and then she can do it. You know, like one of them, <laughs> you know, you see the documentaries where like the, the mum cheater lets the little baby cheater play with its food. I'd do that. What if it was someone Etta, you we've got to learn. What if it was someone you knew and they broke in? Right. I'd assume that something's wrong. I'd be like, John, what are you doing here, lad? He's like, I've come to murder your right wife. Bob I'm like, get off. out or I'm going to blow your head off. <laughs> now I'm coming up. Bang. Bang, bang. Bang. <laughs> John's dead. No, oh on. shit! I gave John a key. He's staying on the couch. <laughs> Toilets upstairs. Yeah. John needed a shit. John, what are you doing? I've got IBS. Not good enough. Bang, bang, bang. What anyway, are you doing? Blue John's head I'd off. You love don't... to blow someone's head off. <laughs> I don't think you would. <laughs> I totally agree. <laughs> you better live. Your... You better live yourself forever, knowing that you've murdered someone. No problem. It's not murder. It. It is murder. It's self-defense. That doesn't mean it's not. You're still going to jail. The fuck no, are you you're doing not. in house. It's, it's like a loophole. In the, in the world I'm living in, you're still going to court. Then it's still going to be an ordeal. I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, he's definitely broke okay. it. Like, there's, there's, there's worse ordeals. You let them do what they want to do. You don't let them. You debilitate them. Shoot them in the legs. You're no, raping no that's one. That's not as fun as blowing. <laughs> if you're playing Grand Theft Auto, you're not walking around shooting people in the legs, are you? You're going around and fucking pinging them in the head. So and I would love to blow someone's head off. If someone broke into my house and was trying to attack me or my missus or my dog or my kids, I would be like, if I lived in the in the country where I'm allowed to keep a shotgun and use it to, to kill someone, I would love that opportunity. When when I'd be smiling as he came through the front door, I'd be like, finally, you should this day has come. I'd say, stay there, love. I'm going to go and blow this cunt's head off. And then pause, <laughs> pause suits. We'll watch that again in a minute. Pause it. Yeah, no, I haven't seen this one. Get me shotgun on the stairs. You're all right, lad, get out of my fucking house now. No, okay, bang, and then I'd come. It'd be fucking <laughs> incredible. I'd shoot him in the legs. Hey, some, I, that some, some Irish Carl. guy with a load of meat going, <laughs> it's your delivery. It's your sugar pig bacon. Oh, Christ. In our scenario, in our scenario, we've shot an attacker yeah. that's not going to go to court because we live in America and everyone's going to be fine. Everyone's safe. So in your scenario... Happened. A guy's come in to attack you and your missus. Yeah. You've shot him in the legs. Now you're watching a cripple rape your wife. He's not getting up the stairs, Mark. I'd shoot him in the legs and kick him down the stairs. <laughs> Push him out the way. Get everyone to love out the house. Lock the door. Bring the plot. Why does he need to get everyone out the house? <laughs> Look, Why how, would we stay upstairs? How is that a <laughs> shot? That's <his> problem. <laughs> if we just talked about it for ages and that was still a shot. <laughs> Everyone's out the house. The door's locked. I've rang the busies. Uh, I've just shot someone in my house. Yeah, he was trying to rape would us. You, would you do that if it was raining? Would you stand Imagine the your missus lying there with a dead-legged guy humping away and she's looking at you going, you could have shot him in the head, Carl. Why has he not stopped him getting to the ring? Because he's persistent. He's oh, just that, would you one blow one someone's head off? I'd, I'd All be of his strength is in his upper body. He's fucking oh, not a psychopath. Oh, he's stoned. What if he's coming after Pyrotis? A pair of fucking maggots <laughs> over there, mate. Pyrotis. Blow his head off. Take the opportunity to get that thrill. You really want to kill someone? I would love the opportunity to kill someone who deserved it. 
I wouldn't do it in this country. If you were offered to, the chance to be the, the guy on death row, would you do that? <gasps> it it no. depends what it is. I don't want to like kick the stool. I don't know why it seems cruel. I don't want to do the lethal injection thing. Right, okay. It's not fun. What, what, but if it was death row and I got to blow someone's head off with a shotgun, you have been sent yeah, to death. What's the one where they for shoot blah, everyone blah, against blah, blah, the wall? And you'll be now it's firing, firing squad. Firing squad. Yeah. Oh, they've all got blanks except for one, haven't they? Bang. So sorry, the lethal injection. You won't press the button that makes everything go in because no. that's not humane. It's not but that it's not. No, it. it's not that it's not humane. It's not fun. It's boring. <laughs> it's not fun. I have misunderstood where you were coming from. There. <laughs> Okay, I would, so I would hunt someone. Yeah, come you get an email from someone in the Philippines. I had Adam. I've heard what you do, and we uh, we. I've killed. had those emails before. Straight to, I've, I've filmed me once. No, <laughs> um, <laughs> we kill bad guys. Yeah, we've got these bad guys. And um, do you want to come over and blow someone's head off? It's all legal. You go over. Um, I mean, I'm on tour at the minute. So. No, but you finished tour. Come over. We've got some kid there. <laughs> I'm in Swindon, lad. <laughs> <laughs> you can meet me halfway. <laughs> This, this tour's been rooted <laughs> weird, but I'm not going Philippines for no What have they done? Oxford are just watching just... us. Fucking <laughs> stand up for someone. They've, they've killed That's someone. It's the second time this cunt's cancelled. They're a murderer. Right. Uh, they've killed maybe, someone. Yeah. You, that you, you go, and you get the joy of blowing a random kid's head off. If he's a murderer? Yeah, he's a murderer. Yeah, he's killed two people. Uh, for no reason. He's just a horrible, horrible murderer. He's just a murderer? Yeah. Love it. It's insane. It's not insane. I just haven't got that bloodlust. I want to kill someone. It's not bloodlust. It is. It's not. See if you got a chance to kill a celebrity. Yeah. Eamon Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> what, like in the front and we're the psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> what if Eamon Holmes was coming in your house? Yeah. <laughs> he's not getting up the stairs. He's a fat hunt. Ah. ah. <laughs> Debilitated himself. <laughs> yeah. I just let heart disease stop him. Do, do you think, do you think Eamon Holmes out. just lives in a bungalow, do you? He's just got no stairs. Very possible. If you knew that this section was going to end with, do you think Eamon <laughs> Holmes just lives in a bungalow? You really know the level of bullshit we come out with better than us. Let's have a break, guys, eh? Get my it's not gun. good lust, though. It's just right and wrongs and delivering justice. Now then, I hope you're enjoying today's episode, which I think is our absolute finest work. While you're here, while I've got you, will you do me a favour? If you're enjoying this episode on YouTube, give it a little comment underneath. Put it anything, even if it's just like Carl's got a great bunder. It really helps the episode like it. And do subscribe. I remember when we got to 10,000 subscribers, how chuffed we are. It's in touching distance that we're going to get to 100,000 YouTube subscribers. We get a plaque. We would love it. Also, we're on socials all over all the major show socials at Have A Word Pod. Give us a follow. If you see a video you like, it's a clip, just share it as well. Like it and share it. Also, Adam's on tour and he's doing the arena. All his shows are at adamrow.co.uk slash tour. I'm comparing uh, Dan Nightingale and Friends show, The Fiend shows. That's for the rest of this year. All the tickets there at dannightingale.com. Really appreciate you. Appreciate your support. Enjoy the rest of the episode. It's going to be a belter. This is a proper hangover today. That's my fourth can of coke. Oof, full fat. Full fat. <laughs> Got to, haven't you? Makes you feel better. Um, correspondence time. Can I uh, hand it to you for some celebrity encounters? You can. Is indeed. it meant to be weird celebrity encounters or just yeah. all celebrity some encounters? Weird ones. It's, Don't be yeah, it's like saw no noticeable ones. As oh. in like, no, not noticeable, notable ones. Not, not any, worthy. Not, hmm? Any celebrity encounters? You miss any famous people and they've been a bit weird or? Um, yeah, I took a piss beside Captain Tom. The, the old fella? Was he dead? Uh, no. Okay, I realise I've, 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 I've created this. I've created this story and didn't have a back bit to it. So <laughs> <laughs> I missed all the Captain Tom stuff because I was away. Wasn't he just an half fellow walking man's garden? Yeah. yeah. And you just all went man for it. And then allegedly, oh, we did, yeah. don't include we did. his daughter. All the money that was meant for charity, his daughter's fucking bought a little gaffer. She bought a spa. Bought she a bought spa, a spa. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. she have to give it back though? Yeah. They've knocked it down. Oh dear. Yeah. They've what? They knocked it down. Did they? Yeah, live streamed it. Sick. And he, he, how old was he? Uh, is he like 99? I think he what was. was. What was he doing it for? Uh, the NHS. What was the NHS getting from him? Money. money. Another patient. Money. How did they get money? Oh, people were donating. Yeah. yeah. He was just doing laps of his garden. He raised a lot of money. It wasn't even that big a garden. People were bored <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Haven't they named a new line after him in London? The Captain Tom line. What is it? Well, on the tube? tube? Stuff for the Jets. Oh, yeah, there's a new the tube line. Wembley Lasagna yeah, line. Yeah. Names. I don't think Captain Tom's got one. No, I wouldn't surprise me. Though. They it's named a spa after him. 
<laughs> so have you got? Have you not got any weird? Celebrity I met Noel Edmonds once in a lift, and I bet you couldn't take your eyes off. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, imagine you were having a wedding, and Noel Edmonds turned up. Wouldn't he ruin it? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hang on. Whoa. Do Why would he ruin it? Because it's Noel Edmonds. <laughs> so nobody's gonna remember <laughs> the day at all. Get in. Like I don't think. <laughs> But I, I agree. I don't think there's any other celebrity where folk would go, how's the wedding? Fucking no Edmonds was there. Like, God, if if Jay-Z any was, other celebrity. No, if Jay-Z was there, right, there'd be a, an entire element of the congregation that wouldn't have a fucking... They'd be like, why is there a black guy here for a start? But, um, <laughs> for a start? <laughs> it is a valid for question. A <laughs> We've got so many problems with this wedding. No, you know. But number one, right, first of all... This is a, this is a Scottish wedding, right? <laughs> But Noel Edmonds would get recognised by everybody. Yeah, and he'd ruin hang it because he'd be the only, on. he's whoa, the only one. Whoa, whoa, he's the only one. Whoa. You think Noel Edmonds he is more recognisable yep. than Jay-Z? Than Jay-Z. If you took a poll of th- this country especially, <laughs> this co- I guarantee more people in this country have watched Noel Edmonds work than Jay-Z's. Thank you. Yeah, maybe. And they all no, like, young people don't know who the fuck Noel Edmonds is. Old people don't whole... know who Jeezy is. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. No, Sp- speak don't. for your own racist nana. <laughs> <laughs> Frida used to love a bit of James hip-hop. Said. James East... said. She was always East Coast, though, my nana. Do you remember when Noel Edmonds killed a kid? Yeah. Was it? I thought it was a man. He breaking into his house, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have debilitated him. Deal or no deal. He used to do he helicopter fast. rides. What? He did do fun house. No, oh, that did was, he actually um, kill a kid? Yeah. Pat Sharp. That's, That's why he went, so he, he, it was Noel Edmonds' fun house party or something like that, wasn't it? And he yeah. blew some kids' head off on it. Um, and <laughs> that that was like the end of his career because there was a helicopter ride yeah. and like the kid died or something. And then it was mad. When he come back with Deal or No Deal, people were like, what? He, he blows toddlers' heads off him. <laughs> <laughs> but they had That's the f- so f- so We do not deal he with facts gonna, here. So he used, to run, he used to run like helicopter rides for kids. Right, and then there was like one he piloted himself, and it crashed, and the kid died. How did he not die? Because they, well, the pilot never dies. He's famous, that. isn't he? And the pilot never <laughs> dies. Yeah. Google. And that. they would have got away with it, Finn. But, uh, <laughs> at the funeral, they just had Blobby coming in, going. Blub, 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 blub. <laughs> no lemons. Blobby carried the tiny casket. <laughs> no lemons. Pilot of the kid to death. Yeah. Wow. You know. Was he the helicopter pilot? No, I think. <laughs> <laughs> was it Jay Z? No, but he used to run. He, he did, because he was a helicopter pilot. I don't think he was piloting it, but the scheme he was running right. was he would like allow kids to go up in a helicopter. I thought that part of the crash. game show was something fell out of the sky. Yeah. A kid. No. <laughs> Didn't a I'm, helicopter. Was it part of, what was it, Saturday night? Was it What was it called? Noel's house, house party. party. Yeah. yeah. Didn't it end with like there was a, a like a, some bloke in a cage and it was <laughs> dropped from a great height and the guy died. No, he died and a, a nine year old boy died in a helicopter. He got thrown out the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. Not thrown out. I think he, he got thrown fell out. out fell out don't the try helicopter. this at home with Davina McCall. Do you not remember this? There was a big target on the ground, <laughs> and that was the idea. Keith Chegwin had to get as close to the centre as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Show some light-hearted celeb encounters. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, this first one's from Jack. Strange encounter. I met I met Eric Jemba Jemba next to an ambulance after he hit my <laughs> sister's friend in his car. <laughs> he seemed sound though, minus the driving. Eric Jemba Jemba could be in here right now, and I wouldn't know. <laughs> How would you know it was him? <laughs> I I'm, I'm guessing it was. I think he you'd, was you'd have. His, <laughs> his first question would be, why is there a black guy in here? Fuck Jay Z. No. Eric Jemba Jemba. Is that Noel Edmonds? Oh, no. <laughs> One of my favourite football names of all time. Yeah, it's a good Hack. Name. It's mm. Hack. Is it Hack? Yeah. Well up there with Papa Boobity. Young Vanny God of Hesselink, another Hack one. Mm. Uh, Stephen so. Tarleton says, Weird celeb encounter. I once saw Ulrika Johnson riding one of those mo- motorcycle games at an arcade. I was waiting to get on, but she kept on adding credits, so I had to <laughs> give up on waiting. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, he could just, just spending all that TV money. A queue of kids. Fuck you. I'm famous. 
Ulrika Johnson. Ulrika. Back in the days when she was a weather girl, pre the TV presenter. Shooting mm. stars? Very, Ulrika Johnson. Shooting stars, I think, yeah. Fit. Very attractive. Uh, Sven Jorn Eriksson, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He was now, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Stan Callimore did some really naughty stuff. Stan Callimore. <laughs> Stan Callimore. <laughs> left a bit of stank on that one. <laughs> Stan Callimore. Yeah. Stan Callimore, like, he battered did, it, didn't he? he? Did, yeah, he did. Oh, we are trying to get sued today. today, aren't we? Jesus. What do you mean, sued? We've just Stan done... Callimore punched her head in. We... Fact. We've just done Noel Edmonds. It was all over the Listen, show. Listen, you wouldn't David want to watch a court Williams. case with David Williams, Stan Callimore, <laughs> and Noel Edmonds suing us. I met David Walliams. Um, no, uh, Finn McDermott says, Celeb Encounter, I'm currently in Manchester for uni and went for a kebab at McTucky's in the gay village. I was 50p short and boss man wouldn't let me off. So I turned around to ask if anyone could give me some change. And Phil Bardsley handed me a fiver and said, get yourself a large on me. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Bardsley? I, would, I closed me blinds if he was in the garden. Is Phil Bardsley the one that knocked Wayne Rooney out in the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. They were like Sunderland Stoke. right back. Played for Stoke, didn't he? Yeah, Man United, Sunderland, think, yeah. Sunderland and Stoke. Yeah. What? Doesn't M like travelling. What's it called? McTuckies. McTuckies, yeah. Phil Bardi you're not on flims out though, my man. I'm dying to give people money when they're <laughs> short at the till. Just, out tall. I'm just, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm a you are tiny. I'm a large on me. <laughs> I'm, a, get, I'm a fiver. Get bigger legs. Short. Get bigger legs on me. <laughs> Just kids in the street. Yeah, you're little. It's a five. <laughs> All right, lad. It's a ten. Come on. Off you go. God, this one can't even walk. He's in a pram. <laughs> 20 quid. Right, we've got another footballer one. Uh, Once hey, Ulrika's off that raid. Fucking up to <laughs> Hey, loads, love the pod. When I was around nine on the bumper cars at the local fair, I was going around in this little car. I bumped into someone and looked up and it was David James. And he said to me, Careful, mate. Do you know who I am? It was so mental looking back, and no one believes you when I tell this story. I, but I don't true. believe you. No celebrity has ever said, Do you know who I am? Clint Dempsey said once, uh, Do you know what I'm from, dog? On the footy pitch to another player. <laughs> Mika Richards. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. And he's from like Tallahassee or something. From Gimsville. <laughs> he's the biggest gimp ever. <laughs> David James is a fucking big guy, so you can Was that the one? Was David James the one that Harry Redknapp? In a press conference, said, <laughs> "He's thinking about you giving money to Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> they two little clones. Henry, <laughs> Henry. <laughs> 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 because they're short. That's what you said. <laughs> I can't wait to give money to people because they're short." <laughs> What were you saying, Dan? <laughs> Harry Redknapp and David James. Harry Redknapp said he wanted to live in David James' rent his body. <laughs> what? Oh. Genuinely, in a pref what? press conference, I think it was when David James ended up playing for Portsmouth towards the end of his career. When, do you know when Harry, Rob, Ro, Ro, Harry Robinson... Do you remember when Harry Robinson... <laughs> do you remember when Harry Redknapp was just like, listen, it's down the South Coast, no one gives a fuck. And he had just play it like Nico yeah. Kranja. Yeah, yeah, he just had Crouch. a, a the band together. It was, but it was a yeah, fun yeah, team. Yeah. It was they won an FA Cup, I think. Yeah, yeah. I That's think he said of David James, like he's a, a specimen. Yeah. I'd just love yeah, to to live in his body for twenty four hours. Plot to get out. <laughs> <laughs> David James. Is that, is that is literally the plot to get out. <laughs> Harry an, Redknapp has got an executive. An elderly white man. <laughs> Jordan Peele. Buys a young, fit black guy that lives listen. in his body. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Peele is a Portsmouth fan as well. <laughs> so he's probably watching that at the time. He's like, I'm fucking writing that. <laughs> I know somebody who rented Tony Warner's house and found loads of cock extenders and Viagra in his loft. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tony Warner. Who's that? Uh, goalkeeper for, I think he was Liverpool's reserve goalkeeper at one point. Someone rented his house and he went, don't go in the loft. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing you do? Yeah. You get right in the loft. Before I even go pick my bedroom, I'm getting in the loft. <laughs> Before Tony yeah. Warner's off the drive, I'd be up the fucking... <laughs> and he had like, had like boxes of like sex enhancers, like Viagra and like penis extenders and all like, yeah. Penis and extenders. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> and wank. Uh, right, we've got one more. <laughs> this is from Liam Campbell. Uh, here's my celebrity. I've just thought. I'm not saying it. Go on, carry on. I'll cut it out. I love it when Adam's crying because he's having so much fun. It's Go on. beautiful. Go on. 
And Frank must have wanked a lot. <laughs> oh. How old was she? Must. She was, I think she died at 14. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. How old that's she, why, she, that's she, why she never did a second book. <laughs> All the pages are stuck together. Yeah. Twice as long as you're <laughs> Eight months? <laughs> what were you doing the rest of the time? <laughs> Friggin Just fricking myself to... <laughs> I, thought she, I thought she was a woman. Uh, no, she's saying she's <laughs> a child. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever read Anne Frank's diary? Uncut. <laughs> Day 27. Another big wank. <laughs> There's about 14 oh. of us up here. Everyone's fuming. But oh. I love wanking. What's with other people? Yeah. She wasn't the only Jew, I didn't know. Ah, we nearly went an episode and say it without saying the word Jew. <laughs> we nearly <laughs> managed it. We have been on a very uh, Jewish I'm, run recently and we nearly managed it. And Frank, a chicken run. And Frank friggin' us. Oh, I've got a joke. See that? No, oh, you haven't. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing about Anne Frank. I know what it takes Love to wank. <laughs> God. <laughs> I clicked like a fucking Auschwitz shower handle. Jesus Christ. That's the worst. <laughs> that is the worst thing that we've ever said. That's the worst that's thing. That's the worst thing that's ever been said. Anyone's ever said in this room. All in room. <laughs> Listen, technically, Mark, it's impressive. <laughs> God, I just got really warm. We've got um Can we talk about David Williams? <laughs> we've got we've got one more celeb encounter. Either like that. Have we, can I just say, <laughs> smooth their face. Thanks. Mm. Uh, this is from Liam Campbell. Here's my celebrity encounter. Have a word's own Adam Rowe. About 18 months ago, I was drunkenly walking near the bottom of Bold Street late at night when I saw someone stumbling towards me. Oh, I realised it was Adam as he got near, and as he walked right past me, <laughs> he fell flat on his face. <laughs> I, I helped him up. He thanked me. I told him I was a fan and asked if he needed any more help walking. He said no and incoherently mumbled something else. We went our separate ways and I saw him fall over again further down the road. <laughs> I wonder if he remembers it. I'd guess not. I'd remember falling over. That's not true. Would you? I'm flat on my face. I You've... think that's an exaggeration, isn't it? You fell over. I think you've fallen like that. Yeah, stumbled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. I don't even drink. I don't even drink most of the time. And when I'm that drunk, I always remember everything I do. No, but you remember falling over, wouldn't you? You don't sound like you're in Memoryville. Right? Day, you woke up at 4am and jumped up and down on your foot to see if you'd broken it by accident in your sleep. Not in my sleep. <laughs> Before you got home then. Yeah, I did do that, yeah. <clears throat> Oh. Look, maybe. Yeah. Send in your celeb encounters, have a word pod at gmail.com if you've got anything notable. Uh, we're going to do some pet peeves. I have to do my head in. <laughs> uh, pet peeves, just shit that winds you up. I reckon, Mark, you're, this is in your wheelhouse, this. You know? You know what I mean? Yeah. You seem like one of them people who can make agitation <laughs> funny. Ben Ballantyne, pet peeve of mine is people who walk through doors without even checking if people are behind them to hold the door open. Yeah, I'm... Have, a, have a tenner on me. What are you, 5'4"? Four? <laughs> or the 15 quid? Like some kind of fucking mad charity cunt walk up your small. <laughs> All money for that. <laughs> ben, we're never doing your one again. It just got ignored because I was giving people... To <laughs> small people money. I think it's a sign of someone not being raised right. Not what holding a door open? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I think that's... If you see them, if you don't see them, fair enough, but you can normally Ball. tell when someone's... You've got there. to gauge the distance. Yes. Otherwise, you've made them run. Yeah. yeah. And that's annoying when you go... Oh, a pet peeve of mine is when someone opens, holds the door open for me and they're more than 20 yards away and they're like, come on, you have to be What like, is it, like a five-second rule? No, not even that. Yeah, it's... Three a, seconds, otherwise, mate, I'm six, sorry. Five, six steps away. If they're like, 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 just close it, I'm not running. No, I know what you mean. Unless they're like, there's a reason that... You know what I mean? If they're like elderly or they've got like baby, oh, or... I'll slam the door in the face. Yeah, anyway. yeah, fuck that. I'll let them get close. What if close. they're small people? You've got to hold the Keep door. You've terror. got to carry yeah. them. <laughs> similar, <laughs> similar to that is when someone lets you cross the road when there's nothing behind them, and you've just got to be like, yeah, and do, then do, do, do that little little awkward jog. little jig across the road. Oh yeah. Do you know what my biggest pet peeve is? Joe, when you go, I'm gonna be coolie and let someone out. Say so like, there's, you're going down the road and there's only room for one car, and then you let, and they don't thank you. 
I go from lovely to cunt in seconds. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you're welcome, you daft twat. Yeah, yeah it's that's like, you know, you can tell the character of people by how they treat service staff. Yes. You can tell the character of people as to whether they thank you yeah. if you let them out in a car. Ice, ice flash and wave. Yeah. I'm over the top. I'm like, yeah, mate, nice one. Sometimes yeah. I send a car. Yeah. <laughs> Get the registration, please. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, I was, I can't believe I forgot this. Yesterday, I was uh, driving by yours, actually. So I was driving, and you know, like, the roads are quite tight because there's cars on every side. It's the same road we're talking about, and now it is. Um, the one and, parallel to Little Lane. Yeah. In Heighton. There, there's, <laughs> there's one. <laughs> like, there, there was, like, a, a, a van in the way. And I was, I got to, like, the van quicker than the person coming the other way got to their bit of the van. But I just stopped and flashed them, and they didn't thank me. And... I very clearly went, oh, you're welcome, like that in my car. And they stopped right next to me and went, I had right away anyway, and then drove off. Gobshite. shot. Was the van blocking their side of the road? Or my yours? side. Oh, but so I they... was, they did have right away. Yeah, but you're still being nice. I was still being nice. I, I, could, like, I could have definitely gone and like just sped. But I was like, you know what? No, go on, mate. You've got right away. Like, I have right away anyway. Eee. That's not how it works. Just say thank you. Yeah. Just that. Yeah, that, I do, I do like that. I'm That's the it? Yeah. I don't need to just stop and go, thank you so much for that. Just, don't just even look at me. Like, I'm over there. Just Flash your hand, yeah. Um, Niall Hoare. <laughs> Sorry, Niall Hooters says, <laughs> all right, lids, when you're going to sleep, lying on your side, and you can hear your heartbeat in your ear. Yeah. Nice one, Niall. Yeah, yeah. Palpitations. Aye. Is that? Go to doctors. Is that real? Yeah. I don't get side on heartbeat. If it's quiet in the room, you can hear you in a can not you? I thought you wear earplugs, don't you? Yeah. I thought that would have been worse. More, yeah, worse. Yeah, that amplifier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't hear my. No, I can't hear that. Am I dying? <laughs> <laughs> I start wearing my earplugs in the swimming pool now. Mm. Why? Because I. So we can't hear the police chasing them. So I can't <laughs> hear the police. Yeah, yeah. I can't hear the sirens. Luke Wood says. Why are you sleeping in the swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> After bed. <laughs> Luke Wood says, "Pet peeve for you when you go to get uh, to get a squirt of ketchup or HP, and the fucking stupid foil cap is still on under the main lid." Ah, uh, yeah, two paste the same. Yeah, and different if it's yours and you bought it though. Do you know what I mean? If you're at a gaff, you're like, someone should have done this. Oh, oh do you know what's it. annoying with them is when you go to rip it off, and then the little tab you have to rip it off breaks. And then you've got no way of you opening it. You've got to just poke it. a hole in yeah. it and do that and get all sauce on your finger. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Adam Matthew <laughs> says, pet peeve when you put shower gel on your hand, ready to rub it onto your body, and you instinctively put it on your head like shampoo. For Dan, I suppose this is a simple pleasure. They're what? just a fucking idiot. That is lunacy. <laughs> yeah. When you put two pins on I'm not the reading this, and then put it in your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> what am I doing? Because you, have you, genuinely, I obviously don't do this because nothing gets rubbed what on my head. What does my head in? But that's a good question. You wash your head. What do you wash your head with? <laughs> shoulders and shoulders. We both wash before. <laughs> what, what do you wash your head with? I don't wash my head. You don't wash your head? Don't wash, don't your, wash head. your head? I don't wash my head. Where do you stop washing your face? It's <laughs> <laughs> a very good question. Right, so I could be halfway down my back. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm thinking, fucking hell, washing my face is a nightmare. <laughs> Laura, can you give us a hand? Where do you go to? <laughs> That's such a good question. <laughs> you to me, like, no, your face done. This doesn't get wet. You know, when you lose a limb, I can still know, I know where the hairline was. <laughs> Don't you wash your I wash your up head? to 2001, which is lower. Don't you wash your head? No. Why? But surely they're like... doesn't wash his head. Like if it's been a... <laughs> your dad doesn't wash his head. If it's been a dusty day, is there not like what, a light? Uh, what, what dusty day? <laughs> what dusty day? Yeah. If, if I... I'll tell you this. If I'm ever du desert dusty... <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, I wash my head. Do you? But if I'm dust free, <laughs> if this is just a normal dustless day, yeah, and I've not been in the Wild West. Do you wash your beard? Occasionally I'll give my beard a shampoo, but it's not a very long beard. You, should never, you shouldn't use shampoo on your beard. What you should use beard stuff. Don't uh, fuck your beard. It's right. different hair, it's pure. Like it? like <clears throat> right. oh, cheers, man. Mark, do you wash your legs? <laughs> what? Do you wash your legs? Do you uh, actively wash your legs in the shower? You no. don't. No, I, just, I, just let, I just let it, aye, the trickle, there, like, there's just the soap coming from well, the even on a then. dusty day, <laughs> in the famous, those Glaswegian dust bowl days, you know, 
when you're in the dry season in Glasgow. It's a fucking nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> Kelvin Grove. Ah, I, I want to go down to the West End. It's covered in dust. I can't see. Fuck off, Nelson. <laughs> Bring me my camel. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I don't. This is. This is gonna. I'm gonna get grief for this. I bet you only wash here in your bollocks, don't you? A hundred percent. Yeah. Tits and bits. Yeah. Uh, pits and bits. That's madness. I wash pits and bits. Not wash your ass. Yeah, oh, sorry, that's my bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your yeah. cheeks. Yeah. I, I do you wash in the same order every day? Because I do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dry. I'm oh, here, I go. I go. And then here. Oh. And then here. And then. I do me yeah. cock first. Oh, and that takes bomb. 25, 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're rubbing all your cock off, like, on the rest of your body. Yeah. What do you think, Tommy Cock? Alexander <laughs> Cock off. Dust. <laughs> Dust. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Glasgow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do me cock first because I've got a sensitive cock and ball sack. <laughs> I've had this so much fun today. So I have to use Dove or Simple on my cock. Oh, like a sensitive skin thing. Yeah. yeah, so I do that first. Simple Because cock. it's... Um, I haven't contaminated my hands with right, shampoo okay. or anything yet. Uh, so I do my cock first, then I do my body, and then I put my shampoo in while I'm like sort of doing the next... I don't think I've shampoo ever first. put shower gel on before shampoo. No, never. <sighs> e ever. I do. I, I didn't used to. I used to do it the old fashioned way, but then. Um, you don't condition, do you? Yeah. Yeah. No. So you need a bit more, you need a bit more, like longer time if you're conditioning. So it's hair, shampoo, body, wash it out, and then I brush my teeth while my hair's conditioning. Um, yeah, I don't condition it. I Maybe do, I should I now, do now everything. Now I'm going here, I probably should start. You should do. Yeah, I do everything and then give my arsehole a good soapy finger in. <laughs> <laughs> I end on that. That's the closer. I do love that. That's all I do. <laughs> I catch my wife finger in her arsehole every time. You know when you just go ask. She, like your, she's showering. Finish the sentence. <laughs> and I've, if I need to ask her a question, if ever she's in the shower, it's all her finger is in her arsehole. How long is she cleaning it for? Even if she's cleaning the shower, <laughs> <laughs> she's cleaning the bathroom, <laughs> doing the kids' bath. Get your finger out of there, look. <laughs> mate. So if so you if you use harsh stuff on your cock and balls, you'll get thrushes and thrush. Mm. Have you ever used the? Uh, a Game. tingly <clears throat> mint stuff. Original sauce. Two faced. <laughs> <laughs> Where the Never clean my cock and two faced. I went to the STD clinic um, because I thought I had AIDS or something because um, I had like a flaky cock. And uh, that is the first sign. And I was like, <laughs> "What? What's going on here?" Because I think I've got something bad. And she <laughs> she looked at it and she was like, "What uh, shower gel are you using?" And we changed shower gel recently. I had started using that Lossetane French shite and. Uh, she was like, stop using that. Go back to like Dove. Like use like a really sensitive thing. And if it doesn't clear up, then come back and um, we can have a look at some more stuff. But that's all it is. She, she's like, we've done the tests and you, you're completely clear of everything. Do you, reckon, and, do you reckon there's a doctor who's ever seen a cock they like and then just give like a bad diagnosis because they can see seeing it? Because if she liked, look your cock, she could have went, yeah, do that. I'll see it again in a week. And then she just keeps looking at your cock. For you're going to need a cream for that, mm. but I have to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Just making stuff up. And do you know what? Up. The NHS is on its arse. See you at mine, 8 o'clock, no, Tuesday like, night. Use what? this. Oh, it's not working. Let's Just have a making look again. stuff up. Are your cocks got ADHD? You need to... <laughs> no, I, has, I, I can't put this cream on with my hands. I've got to put it on orally. <laughs> Next week I'll look. Oh, <laughs> your cock still isn't fixed. And then it takes like six months to fix your cock. All I can tell you, Carl, is that didn't happen to me. <laughs> my cock was uh, right as rain about you a week you later. You didn't get circumcised, did you? I didn't, no. That's what they said. So they were like, you probably need to get circumcised uh, if this doesn't um, help it, but it did. So. That'd be agony. Getting me cock cut off, yeah. At her age. Yeah. Talking about agony, let's do an agony, Adam. Oh. <laughs> let's give some advice. Solve your problems. I'll tell you the best thing to do. So people um, write in. Have a word pod at gmail.com. Send in your pet peeves, your simple pleasures, your questions. Here's one. Pet peeve, EE. Your mobile plan will increase by £4.96 a month next month. Oh, we'll go and see him in person, Carl. What the fuck? Cost of living. This is from Anonymous. Let's pl please take this one seriously, boys. Sapnin, Doris, Angela, Cassie and Fiona. Please, please, please make sure this is anonymous. It's from Jake Garrett. After <laughs> some advice... <laughs> I'm after some advice, I guess. So, I've been... <laughs> A single male for what feels like forever. In reality, it's been about seven or eight years. I'm only 28. 
and I've always been into ladies. However, I've secretly been known to like and take a silicone willy up the back door pum pum. Uh, this it's not the it's never been called the back door pum pum, has it? It's just your arsehole, isn't it? When's it a back anyway? Just back leave door pum pum out, and then that would be fine. Back door. Taking a silicone willy up the back door. These can get up to a fairly large size. Now my question is: ass can take anything. Uh, it's infinite. I, <laughs> my ass is infinite. <laughs> I'm fingering myself in the name of science. Now, my question is, I've been wondering if I'd ever want a guy to have a go and give me his baby gravy or go down the route of finding a woman with a strap on. Obviously, being single so long, it's hard to find even a normal relationship and knowing guys like a bit of hanky-panky and are less picky leaves me in a sticky situation. Lol. Would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Cheers, Jake. He just wants to get bombed. Is he not gay? Mm. Is he not just gay? No. He wants to cock up the ass. He wants to sort of up his ass. I like things in my ass, though. Cocks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you like things so much in your ass that you're like, maybe I should let him manage, isn't it? <laughs> I think that's true. that's the big step he's made I towards I also don't want to get bummed even with a strap on. I don't know. I, I've, I've, I know it isn't, but I feel like it's emasculating. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, I'm not into it, but I do like getting fingered. Some of the porn, the strap on porn is great fun, though. Do you not think? That's some... Is that not gay porn? <clears throat> what no, when a very you're watching a man getting shagged yeah but it's, it's a woman don't it? get me wrong on, in yeah, the grand in the grand scheme of things it's two steps towards gayville it's yeah. gayer yeah. it's not gay yeah but you, aren't you what, are you enjoying the woman's tits or are you enjoying the cock on the man's ass a bit of, bit get, of everything having something up your ass doesn't make you gay no 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 so isn't, watching all porn, isn't watching all porn because most porn I watch there's more dicks than there are fannies isn't that gay <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel gay no but I think you're looking at the woman aren't you <laughs> <laughs> Part of it. Would you rather a woman bomb a woman with a strap on or a man? I'm a big fan of that, to be honest. Yes. Okay, so that's not gay, I suppose. It is. It's gay. Yeah. It's not because it lesbian. Oh, lesbians. I mean, I mean gay and like Oh, that. you meant the one. Man gay. You, you meant the gay that you like. <laughs> um, it's not gay because I like it. <laughs> oh no, that's <laughs> I don't like it. By the way, lesbians don't do it for me. Do they not? No. What? That's what, what it's the how fuck well for you. What are you talking about? This is worse than the Vegas shit. <laughs> Lesbians don't do it for you. No. Fit lesbians, women frigging them each other off and squirting all over the gaff. I mean, you're adding to the story, but lesbians aren't for me. I have to, like to put myself into the scene and there's no cocks. You're not for them, so it's worked out, Deborah. Exactly, yeah. They don't I've want... turned a couple of lesbians, mate. So. Yeah, of course you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've turned that woman at the, the, the gum clinic. There's waiting list here. Well, fuck, I'm going to have to give this a round of applause. Um, wow, Really? I just, I, I, I'm not involved. Like, I, I'm like Adam when it comes to TV. I have to imagine I'm the guy. And if it's two lesbians, I'm just, what? I'm the, I'm oh, the cameraman. Man. I would love to see Laura get absolutely yeah. walloped by a lesbian. Like a female rugby player. Like a prop. Like when I, so I, I'm 100% with you. And that's why I don't watch a lot of porn <laughs> with black dicks in. Because that's not my dick. You know what I mean? Yep. Right? Understand. So <laughs> when I'm watching porn... That is my dick. So you that's need, what I mean? But that how niche is your porn where you need to find a guy? Yeah. That's... 32-year-old scouse porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just, With a podcast. It just needs to be, just needs to be believable to me. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? With the accent, what if he's what if he's yelling out? He's got an American accent. But I can put an American accent on. I can't put black on. You say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's frowned upon, isn't it? But like, so how do you enjoy lesbian porn then? Because I am the cameraman. Oh, he's he's gonna, gonna I, am, I am the lesbian. No, I'm the boom operator, actually. <laughs> I'm just there watching. Like, if there was two lesbians going fucking hell for leather on each other on that couch, I could stand there and just fucking sort myself out, couldn't I? So that's what I think I'm doing when I'm watching that. <laughs> why do you have to imagine you being the camera? Why can't you just be the cunt at home watching it? Like, why do you, Why in that situation? I have to imagine I'm there. I'm the sound guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm the neck on here. Oh, sorry, if you're doing sound. Boom operator. Oh, boom. I boom, yeah. boom. I wouldn't be part of... Would you not let your missus get... It? I wouldn't be part of the crew. I'd just be there fixing a boiler. <laughs> just peek round. <laughs> Mark just puts porn on and doesn't wank. Yeah. <laughs> Putting it on while I do Would you not spot. let your missus... It really gets me in the mood for fixing radiators. Would you not let your missus have a bit of a, a lesbian time if you were there and you could join in? No. Would you not? She's yeah. cheating on me with a woman. No, she's, she's not. You're not. You're there. That's not cheating. What do you mean? 
Which was on there. Oh, God. Only cheating if you don't let her do it. It's a threesome. Okay, then she's having sex with another person. Right. Would you Would you but, not want a threesome with Sarah then? Like a, no, a I'm involved then. I, I wouldn't want to stand and watch. That's that's I, right. I just that's said just, that. Oh, sorry. I said that. I said I went, I went, but I'd have both of them. I thought you said watch. Oh, I've th you're in there. You're in there. I would have a threesome, yeah. I'd quite oh, right. happily just watch it as well. I, I wouldn't even have to get involved. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. Be quite ha I'd be quite happy if I wasn't even in the house and I just got a text. I've just flicked a woman off. Mark, stay in the pub. I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> Leslie's coming around. Leslie the lesbian? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit on the nose. <laughs> what happens if you came home and Laura was just having a lesbian affair in the bedroom? I'd be like, darling, yeah. it makes a lot of sense. You go, Would you break up with her? Hey, you've got till the end of the week. See ya. Are you done? If she's cheating on me. Yeah. But she said you can stand there and wank if you want. But now, nah, hang on. You were <laughs> right about the cheating thing. Correct. But... It, it, listen, it's all about permission and consent. Okay, then Laura texts you, Sam. Um, can I have sex with a woman and you watch? I'd say yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say yeah. Okay. I'd book as long as I can I'd, have sex with a man and you watch. I booked the I booked the premiere in myself. Equality, here you go. If I came in to find Cut Amy, your nose off to spite your face. <laughs> I'm bombing a man. Now. <laughs> if I came in to find Amy with another woman, I wouldn't be like get out. I'd be like, well, kids are gonna have to share a bedroom again because we're gonna move someone in. <laughs> She's not I'm going to have to work hard because there's roof. another mouse to feed. <laughs> <laughs> She's another defendant. Yeah, no, I'm, I'll, I'll be Sam with her. I don't really think, like, as long as they tell me, I don't think it's cheating. Is that cooking then? What? Is that cook? C U C K. 100%. <laughs> I don't think, mm, I don't think if it's a lesbian thing, it's cooking. Is it not? No, I don't think no. so. Is it voyeurism? It's, it's just great, just, isn't it? It's just great. It's just fit, isn't it? It's just brilliant. That's the porno. Fit. Good old gold. Yeah. It's great. Okay. What would you do if you came home <laughs> and, was a bag the and your stage. wife was watching two men bum in your bed? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, what's that? going on here? God, do I need that shotgun? I'd let them finish and I'd sit them all down and go, like, <laughs> Oh, you would not. I would, oh, just you. let me know when you're done. I've right. got questions. Seneca, I'm fuming about this, <laughs> but I'll never take a jizz away from a fellow man. <laughs> oh, Finish man. up, lads. There's no, some antics. The antics. bedroom would be on fire after they finished. That <laughs> set fire to the entire gap. I'd be like, have we got insurance? <laughs> Bomb. Off we go. Love, have you been making gay porn behind my back? <laughs> yeah. Not even filming it. <laughs> just, <laughs> just for the memories. <laughs> There's no man. Literally, two men bumming and Laura like, Ooh, like a fucking tennis umpire. It's just for me mind, Camden. What would you do if Laura had been renting a garden off herself for gay men to have sex in? <laughs> and not giving me the money? Fucking fuming. But she'd been paying for gifts for you. There's no gifts. No. Yeah, that's fine. It was fine. If she's, no, but I, I'd be, she's stealing. I just want to know. I just want to know. Is the people bumming in the shed? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. I do. Warn me. That's where I watch the NFL. Yeah. Not a euphemism. I've just been in the shed. Have we got slugs? <laughs> because... Oh, no. <laughs> Laura, I, who's been in the garden office? Because I can smell bumming. <laughs> you know that smell that you know? No, she doesn't. Phil Bartley been in there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, little. you know why. Don't worry, lad. <laughs> And that, ladies and gents, is a podcast. <laughs> uh, Mark, before we go, <laughs> tell everyone about your tour. And, uh, uh, you're filming a special for the BBC. Yes, I am. What? Yeah. <laughs> you're filming a special for the BBC? Yeah. You're doing a stand-up special on the BBC? Mm -hmm. I'm as surprised as you. Who the, f what the <laughs> fuck know, is going on? <laughs> what is this time travel? It's unbelievable. BBC Scotland... What? BBC Scotland. Let's not. Oh, don't try and bring it down. No, I just want to understand dad. that everyone's going Netflix. <laughs> Mark's going, everyone's doing Netflix, YouTube, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. I'm going BBC. <laughs> no, it's great. It's BBC, <laughs> BBC Alba. Uh, <laughs> Sexy. Uh, no, yeah. That's fucking class, that. mate. Yeah, All joking aside, that's quite fun. I don't, I don't know. I had a meeting yesterday about what I'm allowed to do. Yeah. And I've had the same meeting recently because I'm doing my special with Al Jazeera. Who's <laughs> <laughs> he? <laughs> <laughs> Can we not get better cameras in here? <laughs> no, we want to do it in a cave. <laughs> the lighting in this cave is fucking... Oh, the sick. same camera we use for Ken Bigley, this. <laughs> Who's saying that? <laughs> like a fix the flex. The Scouse Al Jazeera... All right, lads. My name's Al. Oh, God. <laughs> 
Imagine the fucking <laughs> Al Jazeera. <laughs> it's the same and Cam this is Bigley. Leslie the lesbian. Ken Bigley. <laughs> tour poster. Ken Bigley. I've seen there. on Al Jazeera. <laughs> Please put it on. Someone be brave enough to put it on a poster. <laughs> you might recognise me from Al Jazeera <laughs> or another one podcast. <laughs> Alphabetical order, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Ken Bigley, by the way, was a journalist beheaded by a terrorist group in the early 2000s. Oh, thanks for clearing that up, Carl. <laughs> fucking Microsoft paperclip here. <laughs> Shipping it. <laughs> He's been full of these recently. Chris Foy's got cancer. <laughs> On your way. Hoy! What? Hoy? No. He's a sir. Say his name right. Sir Chris Hoy. Uh, when are you filming it? Where are you filming it? When is it going to go out? And tell us about your tour. Uh, I'm doing it uh, on March the 4th uh, in my hometown of Dumfries at the theatre there. And it's sold out in half an hour. Fuck, which quality, is mate. fucking class. Uh, so I, I don't know when it's going to go out. I think probably around about New Year, Christmas. Nice. Uh, and then the tour, um, when does this go out? Saturday and, Saturday and Monday. So Saturday, well, if you're in Liverpool, I'm at Hot Water sure. tonight. And then after that, I've still got Birmingham at the Glee, Chester, 21 Soho in London, Newcastle Lovely. Stand. <clears throat> Tickets are at? Uh, just at Linktree <laughs> slash Mark Mills and Comedy. <laughs> the link will be in the description. On Go and watch Mark. He's one of oh, the best if, comics. If, if you're in Glasgow, uh, there's a massive... I'm doing the King's Theatre. Sure. The, that's the, the end of the tour. And that's like the biggest gig by far I'll have ever done. Yeah, unbelievable so if can... comedian. If you've not seen Mark live, he is truly one of the best about. And you've seen him at the Have A Word live show in Glasgow. Yeah. And you come and did Juicy when I typed Juicy up in Glasgow. Yes. You come and did that with us Yeah, well. that was brilliant. Wow. Why? If you're listening to this and you're in Liverpool, I'll be at Hot Water tonight. Lovely. Uh, have we got I'm a song, Finn? We do oh, sorry, song. sorry. I'm on tour as well, but you already know about that, so I just... Yeah, go on. We've got a song. This is um, Australian hip-hop this week. We're branching out a little bit. That this sounds is, very good, yeah. This is a collective called Mikey <laughs> Mammoth. Oh. And this is their song, A-O, which is a double Y. We know this. <laughs> Mikey Mammoth. Sounds it's good, good. Mark, it? it? is good. It is good. <laughs> it sounds good, <laughs> doesn't it? Mikey Mammoth. Don't give it a listen. It sounds like the kind of guy that entertains kids in Tenerife. <laughs> They're massive in Australia. Well, you, this is an airway in this one. I'm not giving them any money. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs>